everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Delicio. Hey there, everybody. And we welcome from Mythic Games, Sam Healy, new to the Hello. Dice Tower. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so today, folks, we are taking a look at Hell, the Last Saga. This is a game that's upcoming from Mythic Games. It's on Kickstarter as we speak. Oh, and we, well, yep. be, because of life circumstances, rather than being in person playing this, we're playing on Tabletop Simulator. Yeah. So we are learning the game. Sam's going to be teaching it to us in just a second, but I just want to give you guys fair warning that we are not Tabletop Simulator experts. <laughs> so it's possible that I will throw dice in the floor. It is not in a fit of anger. It is a fit of incompetence. <laughs> um, I, I will do my best to not do that, unlike expert Delicio and Garcia. Yeah, oh, man, right. You're, you're setting me up for a massive fall. I'm stealing that <laughs> phrase, by the way. A fit of incompetence, that's getting yeah. used. Yes. Here's, that's here's, a, here's a question I have before we start, though. Okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't pick my characters. They, they were given to me. Yes, um, they were. My, my, my question is, why do I have a character who has a cat? Um... He's called Gareth the Fool, actually. I um, thought it was it's fitting for you. It seems um, like many, many levels here. He's carrying a, he's carrying a cat around. Uh, we know you all have a very uh, deep and abiding love for cats. So I mm. uh, figured it was uh, a good fit for you. All right. All right. Well, what, what is the <laughs> setting of this? Where are we? Who are we? What's going on, Sam? It's all right. All well, basically, we are uh, going to be playing eight of the 13 playable characters within the game. And we are making up the expedition that is following a quest expedition that our king, King Haken, uh, led over a year ago. And we've not heard any clues or uh, any word back from that first expedition on how they've done. So we're following them as planned so that we can join them in the new settlement that our king has set up for us in this Valhalla on Earth, so to speak. So um, they, we've traveled north. We are after a long journey, which is uh, why we all have a wound uh, to us, because the journey has been harrowing and it's been difficult. And so uh, we are starting off this um, scenario as uh, to... to to simulate that with a wound. So uh, we've landed on the shore and we have actually there. This is the second introductory scenario. The first one that we've kind of skipped. Uh, we landed on the island and we've been able to venture out into the forest a little bit, but we ran into a lot of trouble. We ran into uh, some difficulties, but we got through that first scenario. And now we come upon the camp that apparently um, is not what we were expecting. And so we do have a couple of things that are already in play. We already have a prayer card that's in play because we pray to tear uh, in order to uh, try to bolster morale a little bit in that first scenario. But now we found the camp. We're ready to um, try to figure, try to start figuring out what happened to that first expedition and to see if we can locate them. Uh, who's the leader of our, our band? Well, that would be the queen. Uh, the queen, uh, Petronia, is, has followed her husband, uh, King Haken, and she's leading this expedition. Uh, actually, Alver, the Jarl, um, was the leader of the expedition itself, and but he fell sick over the course of the journey. Uh, and nothing that we've done uh, can heal him. Uh, it's really kind of a strange situation. And so now we are uh, trying to get Alvar to the camp, get him healed, try to figure out how to heal him. And that's pretty much the, the course of this scenario. We're trying to uh, save Alvar the Jarl. And so we've got that set up over here. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the um, uh, first scenario card that's over here, it says carry Alvar. So uh, if you want to go ahead and... Uh, Read the, not that card, but the paragraph 300 in the saga book. That will give us our introductory to what's going on. So 
Uh, whoever would like to read that, go ahead and have at it. Come on, Garcia, you're the you're the you're the voice. There actor. you go. That's all right. right, I will give it a try. You will have to forgive all the mispronunciations of Viking <laughs> names. No, you'll be good. Let's give it a go. So I'm reading 300. Here it is. Yep. You take a quick look around. A deathly silence reigns. Magnificent and grotesque, the dragon's head dominates. The sad guardian of a devastated and ransacked camp, where old <laughs> sail cloths and piles of emptied boxes lie in heaps. Did Thor unleash his storms on these hilltops? Did famine and cold force your predecessors to abandon camp? Did those gesticulating creatures with deformed arms attack them? So many questions leap into your minds while the detestable yelping of your pursuers slowly subsides in the gloomy light of the strange place. Might they not dare to come this far? Would they be frightened of the camp? Reassured, you survey the surrounding area until you finally find a suitable landing place that will allow your drakkar to moor. One of, your, one of you blows a horn with all their might, hoping that your companions will understand the message. After an unbearable wait, you finally see the silhouette of a ship approaching. Brandishing a torch, you signal your presence with sweeping gestures that finally allow the ship, after several complex maneuvers, to avoid the reefs to dock. As you help your comrades to disembark, you are told that Alvar's condition has worsened. He swings between incoherent mumbling, screams of pain, and sudden loss of consciousness. Time is short. You must gather the most able-bodied among you to search the camp, find food, light a fire worthy of the name, to ward off the biting cold that has exacerbated wind, tend to your wounded, and perhaps find traces of your clan. Okay, so now it says that we put in play the special action card one, carry Alvar. So if we go over here and read what that says, carry Alvar says, an active hero in the same area as Alvar's token may perform the following action by performing a valiance test with a difficulty of two. So you can move Alvar in an adjacent area with Alvar's token, ignoring this in area's entry cost. The first time Alvar's token is located in the same area as the bonfire, we will advance the heal Alvar objective marker and gain to morale. All right. So as we uh, are getting into this, that's the point of this scenario. We're trying to get Alvar to the camp, uh, have the fire going, and so that we can advance that objective. Now, if we look over here at the clan board, this is kind of the um, uh, the the center fuge of the of the scenario um, up at the top you'll see the turn marker uh, or the turn track and you'll see that there are a couple of uh, tokens that are lying on it when we reach those areas we'll go down here to the bookmark card and read a book uh, i'm sorry a paragraph from the saga book um, to, that uh, is denoted by the letter of the token and so Every round, we'll be advancing that wooden marker that's there to denote what round we're on. If we land on one of those markers, we'll read that paragraph that'll, uh, that will that um, will advance the storyline. Uh, just below that, you'll have the uh, scenario card, which gives you the three different things that you're trying to accomplish during the course of the round. Uh, the first one is survive. That's the first thing that we need to do. Um, if uh, And as long as we're doing that, we're, we're okay. You'll see that the survive uh, idea is governed by how much morale is in the group. So as long as we have more than three morale in our resource pool, which is right below it, then that token will stay right there and no worries. But if we hit less than three morale, we'll have to read paragraph 160. And if we hit uh, zero morale in the expedition, we'll read 299. Um, uh, it's not good. Let me just say that. <laughs> then the second thing underneath that, it says, uh, find your clan, uh, underneath the, uh, the, the white hand there, it says, find your clan. And so there will be certain elements that will tell us to advance the, uh, marker along that row. Um, and how far we get is going to determine how well we do in part, in the scenario. And then finally, heal Alvar. We need to uh, heal Alvar 
Uh, we have got them, I believe we start here, uh, but uh, we will read, if we get it all the way over here, we'll read um, paragraph 123. That's what this little- we to do all three of those things? Yes. Well, Hill Alvar is the point. If, uh, but if we don't survive, for example, if we let our morale get to zero, bad things will happen, and I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, finding your clan, this one simply, um, how far we get along this track will be used by these other paragraphs to determine how good or how bad we did. So they're all different three elements. They're not necessarily goals. Um, in order to win, we do need to heal Alvar. And we need to survive. So we can't lose morale, and we need, <laughs> and we need to yes. heal Alvar. All right? So those are the two things that we must do. Otherwise, we will lose. Finding your clan is kind of like more how good did you do or how bad did you do within those, those two things. Uh, question here. Uh, was the queen's relationship with the king good? Was it her? Like, is she poisoning him? I'm just trying to read something into this. Um, she's you just showing up you... now. No. <laughs> well, if anybody, well po if anybody poisoned the king, the Jarl, it mm. was the witch, who I happen to be playing. Ah. <laughs> um, you can read whatever you'd like into it. Um, there's, uh, you have as much thematic fun with it as you would like, but, uh, we'll find <laughs> more out as we get back and, uh, uh, and read some of these paragraphs. Uh, but we'll, we'll catch more of the story that way. All right. So below that, you'll see that there are the resources pool, which these are, everybody can, can use these. These are not, when you find, like when you go get more wood, it goes directly to, uh, this resource box and anybody can use it. You don't have to physically bring it back to the camp or anything like that. Uh, the same thing with whenever you're hunting food um, or uh, whenever morale gets added, it's added here and it's all a community pool. Uh, below that, you'll have, you'll see the prayer track. Now this is a, we, we start with glory to tear, uh, which is what happened in the first scenario. Uh, and you'll notice that there are two spaces for each of the different religious uh, followings that are represented in the game. There's Norse, which is the dragon head. Then you have the Christians, which is the, the cross. And then you have the wilds, which are uh, the kind of the, the thorny crown um, that's represented there. Um, if you go over to the left hand side of the board, you'll see these prayer cards two of which are flipped over, and they are immediately available to us. And then there are three that will be flipped over at a later point in time. Uh, we don't know what they are yet. Hey, my guy, uh, the madman, he he, uh, he he believes in all the religions. Yeah. He's ooh, also opposed to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he also has a cat. Yes. Shut up, man. <laughs> all right, so if you take <laughs> If you take a look at one of the flip over prayer cards, I'll kind of explain that so that we kind of get the idea of what's going on with them. Uh, in order to put one of these cards into effect, you have to use a prayer action at a specific place on the board. And we'll get to that in just a, a moment. Uh, in order to put, for example, penance. In order to put penance in, in the board while you're praying, which is the special action, you have to do a willpower check which is down in the lower left hand corner of, of the card and you have to get three successes with that willpower check in order to put this card into play as you're doing that check you can add one wound to your character to get a success so if you get two successes with your roll you can add a wound to your character to equal three and then put penance into into play or what you can does do it after. Penance... So you can do it after you roll. You may, you may. <laughs> um, it sounds like we will be doing that often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the penance. What does penance actually do? Well, it see you see that it has the hand with the zero on it. That means as a free action, this hero suffers one wound and gains this bonus, which means that you get plus one die. Um, and that is a token that you can use once, and then it goes away. 
animal and the character on the, the character has to have that belief to be able to get that card in correct that is correct when you're praying for example a norse character that is praying will not be able to put into play either of these two cards because um it, it just that just doesn't jive but if Geralt is praying sure because he has all three of those available to him uh animal senses on the other hand the willpower is the same but there's no there's no ability to add any successes to it and the effect of the card is when this hero searches an adjacent area um the forest icon on the dice will count as a success icon and again in order to get the effects of these you have to match the religious following of the card as well so right now the only prayer card that we have available to us is glory to tear so the norse characters that are in the game right now uh, are able to take advantage of this prayer card so when those norse heroes white hand wave blah, 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 um, come on white hand you keep getting in the way of literally everything <laughs> come on Sauron, get out of the way um Man. Uh, so those. when this <laughs> when this hero performs a melee attack you can use the uh, world snake icon on the on the dice as a um as a uh uh Success. Success, yeah. Thank this you. This is an always on power for anybody with this belief system every time they perform a melee attack. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, so, praying is something that we probably really want to do that will help us be a little bit stronger uh, during the course of the scenario. I bard, agree. That's good. Mm -hmm. that my bard is going to be a killer then. <laughs> he, realized he, he matches that belief. He's about to take that harp and beat some fools upon the head with it. <laughs> um, right. A couple other things. Uh, this is where the fake cards are going to happen. There's an event phase that happens at the beginning of every round, and we'll flip over one of these fake cards, and uh, that will uh, that will um, push us toward a certain flavor for that specific round. That'll also provide uh, what kind of characters are spawned and where and, and so forth. We'll go over that when we're actually going through the phase. Over here are the hostile cards, which will determine um, what kind of hostiles we're going to be facing in this scenario. It'll also determine uh, by this card right here uh, how they will act. Uh, for example, if we go closer in on this uh, card that's flipped over right here, the uh, small hostiles, we'll put it that way, um, are going to target the nearest, uh, let me go better order, on the top here, it gives the stats. So first of all, they have a valiance of three, uh, which means that they're going to be attacking the, the, the heroes with an attack of that causes three wounds. And then the heroes will be able to defend themselves using their defense characteristics, which we'll talk about in just a few seconds. And then they also have an agility of one, which means that they will move one space toward their prey. And their prey is determined by the second row, which the first icon here means that they're going to, first of all, go after the person who is the closest to who the, to where they are. Um, second, they're going to, if there's a tie in that uh, situation, they go to the one that has the most wounds. And then finally, they'll go after the person that has the highest rank in Viking society. And you'll see that as we go over the player boards in just a moment. At the bottom, there it says shoot one and cowardness think cowardice on that one and uh this means that they can shoot one space away and cowardice simply means that if they are able to shoot at somebody they will not move closer they will simply shoot at them cowards is this going to be the the one um card that is in play for the entire game or is that going to be changing out? Best answer is is no, it will not be the only one. And I don't want to reveal too much, but the answer is no. That will not be the only one that's there. Got it. So the threat does change in the middle of a play sometimes. Sometimes, yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, so I'm let's not, go ahead I'm and go. i scared, man. I got my bar. Yeah. I ain't scared. I'm scared since Sam started. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's go over and talk about um the character cards real quick since that's really kind of the core for each of the players 
to determine where they're going to be. I'm uh, going to talk with uh, Petronia in front of me, so that will uh, help people kind of understand where we're going here. So uh, Petronia's player card, if you look at the top here, you'll see uh, starting from left to right, Valiance, Defense, Agility, Survival, Perception, and Willpower. Those are the stats uh, that... Uh, will govern the kinds of, um, uh, let's see, the kinds of, of tests, tests that she's yes, performing tests there. that you're going to be performing. The numbers that are on top of the stats are how many dice you're going to roll while performing that specific test. Right. So in combat, Petronia will be able to roll two dice uh, for her Valiance tests. And if she's attacked by a hostile, she'll be able to roll three dice to defend against that attack. Um, uh, agility is the is not a number of dice that you roll. It's simply how many spaces you can move um, uh, it, with one move action. Survival, perception, and willpower are all a number of dice that you'll roll when performing those kinds of tests. So if you're searching an area uh, to un to reveal threat tokens or something to that effect, you'll use the perception test uh, skill and roll three dice looking for a number of successes that will equal or exceed the number of threat tokens that are there. Um, so that's how uh, those are used. Below that, you'll see that she has two special abilities, authority and support. Authority simply means that at the end of this hero's activation, another available nearby hero you choose gains an action. So she has the ability to add uh, actions to one specific character, who is in her area. That's what the word nearby means. Support means that owners of other nearby active heroes can reroll one die uh, during any test. So uh, again, nearby means that it is people in her area, and if they are performing any test, whatever it might be, uh, and they didn't get what they needed, they can take one of the dice and reroll them in order to try to achieve a success. The Majesty is a inherent uh, special ability that's always going. As a matter of fact, all of these right now is always going. She always has the ability to give somebody an extra uh, action. She always has uh, the support ability running. Uh, you don't have to take an action to do that. Her Majesty says that um, for another active hero, as long as another active hero is nearby, Petronia cannot be designated as prey. So even if she would be targeted, uh, according to the prey, the hostile's prey um, uh, tiebreaker, uh, she can't be as long as there's somebody else in her area. They'll be targeted before she is. Uh, above that, you'll see two icons. There's a triangle and then a dude with a little circle above them. The dude with the circle is his, her religious leaning. So Queen Petronia is a Christian. Uh, and her rank in society, uh, Viking society, is a 13. The higher the number, the higher the rank in society. So um, she'll be targeted. As a side note, guys, I have the second highest rank. So I, when the queen goes out, I expect everyone to listen to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there you have it. Um, now, there's also familiars. And familiars are things that not all of the characters have, but some of them do. And these are guys that can be sent out to accomplish certain things. This is one of the good ways that we can perform those searches that will flip over threat tokens. Threats and hostiles are a lot more potent when they are uh, uh, unrevealed. After they're revealed, they're a lot less potent. Um, you, you don't want to get into an ambush. Uh, if you do, you're going to be taking a lot of wounds that you won't be able to defend. Um, uh, so they also have special abilities. They also have their own skill tests. So uh, Ralph the Hound here has a valiance of three, uh, an agility of three, which means that he can be deployed three spaces away from Queen Petronia whenever she chooses to do that. And then he also has a perception of two. So if he's going out and trying to flip over uh, these threat tokens, he'll be able to uh, roll two dice to try to do that. He also has a special ability where it says uh, Rolf can search its area to reveal threats and attack a hostile in order of your choice. So if there is already a revealed threat in that area, he can attack. And if there's an unrevealed 
uh, threat token, he can also try to reveal it so that we know what's over there. Uh, in the hostile space, threats or hostiles moving in Rolf's area must stop their move. So if this is another thing that is good that familiars, some familiars can do is they can actually hinder the movement of the hostiles, which keeps them at bay longer, allowing us to get to them and, and possibly fight them before they do much damage to us. Right. Um, and so it, the last thing I want to do is, is look at the board, just a couple of different spaces, and then we can get started. Unless you guys want to get started, it's up to you. The middle board area? Yeah, the actual board where we're going to be uh, moving and, and uh, interacting with. Yeah, so you said there's like a limit of six people on this board? Uh, hex, there is. Unless it says otherwise, yeah. Yeah, each hex has a limit of six people, um, unless the uh, hex says differently, and I don't think any of these hexes say that, so any hex on this board right now can hold up to six people. Uh, so if we want to, let's go over to the... I'm looking at it as the left-hand side. Down in the corner here, we have a uh, token on it that says that it is, uh, that's a quarry token, so somebody can go and hunt over there if they wish. Uh, but down at the bottom, you'll see some icons. The first icon is, this is a rough terrain hex, so it takes two movement points to move into it. If it doesn't have an icon like this, that hex simply takes one movement point to move into. If it has the hex, if it has the token or the uh, icon, then it takes two. The second one is the perception test, which is if you're trying to reveal a threat token or do a search within that area, uh, you have to roll two dice and get at least one success in order to carry out that search action or that uh, reveal action. The third icon simply means that if you're being attacked in that area uh, by a hostile, you can use the terrain uh, to get an extra defense. So the wooded area uh, face of the die will count as an extra success in defense rolls um, or that area. And, and that's generally speaking, you see, the only other thing that I really want to talk about is uh, over where the camp and the uh, dragon head spire are located. Um, you'll see here that you have on the dragon head spire, where the age token is, uh, you'll have you'll see the three different icons uh, for the religions there. That simply means that in this hex is where you can perform prayers in order to put some of those other prayer cards into play. And then it also has uh, um, some cover in there. So uh, attacks will give you uh, extra possibility for defense. Uh, one thing I want to... Um mention here sam the uh the searching in a tile with the eyeball um the, you phrased it slightly incorrectly i think it's you're, you're rolling your own perception and you need yeah. at least two hits yes you're correct yes you're correct it it, it it at least two in those wooded areas um but the if it doesn't have the icon then it's just at least one success right okay um when you're revealing <clears throat> threat tokens with the search each success will allow you to flip over one token so if you have multiple tokens and you only get one success you'll only be able to flip over one of the tokens um uh, so for example if there are two tokens and you only get one success and it's in uh, a, a, a area that only requires one success then you'll be able to flip over one of the two tokens but if you get two successes then you'll be able to flip over both of them and you can do this on your hex, so so nearby or adjacent hexes, right? That is your, correct. Uh, yes. One hex uh, over, basically. So yes. if I'm standing on this hex right here, where my hand happens to be, and I roll, and I get three successes for perception. I could reveal one on this hex, which requires a two, and I could reveal one on this hex, which requires a one. One in each is what that you roll would let me do. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can only search one hex area at a time. So ah, if you okay. got if you got three successes, you'd be able to turn one over in the area that requires two. Um, if you would, um, uh, I, if there were two there, I believe you'd be able to turn over both of them. 
if you rolled a three. Yeah. If you only rolled a two, you'd only be able to flip over one. Got it. Got it. All right. <clears throat> have have we? So I'm now I'm jumping into theming of the game here. Have we built sure. a campfire yet? Negative. No, it looks That's like it's That's why this uh, token over here is, is flipped over. Uh, we have we do have some wood that we've brought with us, uh, but somebody has to be in this area and uh, use some wood to flip this token over so that the fire is actually going now. And one thing that you'll notice is that if we don't do that, at the end of the phase, we'll have to lose an additional two morale. Uh, mm. That is on top of whatever the fate card tells us to lose as well. So it's possible that we could lose three, four, five morale. Uh, depends on what the uh, fate card does. If we don't like the fire by the end of the phase. I feel not, like we should like the fire it. then. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's it's definitely one of the, the core... Things it's that the we queen's need to husband, she period. should do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll not, be busy. I'll be not busy playing my harp and putting spells on people. I can't do it. We should we should throw your harp in the fire. That's what we need to do. No. <laughs> You're a monster. Hey, quick question, Sam. Yes, sir. I've noticed that everyone has a cool little <clears throat> I've noticed everyone has a cool little card next to their thing. But yeah. the fool's card is just a big white card. Uh, is it? I think you've answered your own question. <laughs> no. Um, he has Arnold, a cat. I feel like that card should say something about the cat. It does say something about the cat. It just didn't load in, in your iteration I'm it. Of, yeah. of the game. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, man, I, like, well. I, I can't even see my own cat. I'm like, yeah, we're, oh. we're, we'll read it to you. I mean, you are the fool of the group. So, I mean, you, you, know, you, didn't, fool of a two. you didn't flip it over. You didn't flip it over accidentally, did you, Tom? No, here look, look. Flip it over. Oh. Is that still white? Can you no, see girls? No, I can see the picture of the cat. I just can't see the anything else. Uh, ah, okay. You're so foolish you can't too. read. <laughs> I think it's true. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, I, I think we're ready to go. We've already read uh, the introductory paragraph. We're trying to get Alvar uh, to the, the camp. Uh, so what we need to do first is uh, the queen who is uh, the highest ranking, will take the leader token, which is this little guy right here. And uh, she, the first thing that we have to do in, in every round is the, the queen or the leader has to, to determine who the scout is going to be. And the scout is going to be the person who goes first uh, in the round. So I think right now... Uh, bard. Said the bard see. He can sing the fire. <laughs> Man, the bar is going to get take the, the brunt of the risk, isn't he? I can tell. Right. Dude's going to get pushed into all been stuck on that ship with you for three months. And I right. serenaded you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on this boat for three stinking months. <laughs> all right. Um, I think I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose Oslog the uh the wildling to uh be first and so i'm going to give you the scout token over there which means that oslog will go first which means mike you will be the first character and you will have to choose her to go first okay after you're done we go in uh, uh clockwise order so then uh tom will go next and he will be able to choose either one of his characters to act and then i will choose one of my characters to act Tom, uh, Z will choose one of his to act, and then so forth and so on until we've all activated all of our characters. That will denote we will then move to the hostiles phase and take care of all that stuff. But so we're gonna do, we're gonna do two loops around the table. Then that's what you're saying. Yes, sir. Got it. Got it. That is correct. All right. But uh, now that we've determined uh, who the um, scout is, now we can go ahead and and read the fate card. Uh, for the round. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll flip it over. All right, so Ooh. as we get as we get closer here, this is called Vengeful Spirit. Vengeful Spirit says there is one among you who can no longer take being insulted and pushed to the back without saying a word. That's he right. You know by... I'm sick of you. <laughs> I, I knew this bomb was going to get us into trouble. He uh. lets you know by shouting before taking the initiative. So the active hero 
with the most wounds or the lower rank in case of a tie begins the following uh, gains the following role and bonus tokens. All right. So uh, we all have the same amount of wounds. Um, Tom, I think oh. <clears throat> I know who has the lowest yeah. rank then, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, my rank is, is one. <laughs> yes. Ooh. So we have to give him the initiative token then, huh? Yeah, he gets the scout token, and but he also needs to take these two wound tokens here and uh, put one on Geralt and one on Dring. Uh, that's I'm one sorry. thing we forgot to do in uh, in setup. Sorry. What am I doing with these tokens? You got to put one in one of the boxes on on each of your heroes. What what did I do to deserve that? We all did it. You just we didn't get it. Did it so. you. Yeah, we picked on you. Oh, basically, every song I wrote was about you. I don't know if you knew this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I need to give the scout token to Tom, then. Yes. To Well, to Drang specifically, I believe. Oh, okay. No, not Drang. To Geralt. Geralt. Okay, here we go. Geralt, take, take Geralt the... is, is tired of being uh, ridiculed. Stop picking on me! I didn't want to go first anyway, Geralt. All right, so if we look back at right. the event card, um, he also gets a plus one die token. So, Tom, if you can take one of these plus one die tokens from the resource pool, and uh, you'll get that as well. Over here Do on it. the <laughs> clan board. <laughs> Stop ridiculing him. No. He's, he's angry. He's angry. One of these? I can't feel yes. my brain when I'm with you. <laughs> And I hate it. <laughs> all right. So other things that we're looking at on the fate card here. Uh, during the heroes phase, we'll all have two actions. Each of our heroes will be able to carry out two actions during the course of the heroes phase. In the hostiles phase, we're going to get some stuff on the A spawn point. And then at the end phase, we're going to be losing one morale in addition to the two for the fire if we don't get the fire lit. We didn't so, set the fire. Oh, I knew it was Oh, coming. please. Leave, leave it to the bard. <laughs> so we need at least one wood, because we need two to start the fire, and we have one in our pool, so we're going to need at least oh, we've one got, wood. We've got, uh, we've got two in our pool. Oh, we do have two. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Um, so we, we're starting with ten morale, three food, and two wood. So... Um, we do have something, okay. you know, we're not, you know, it, our hands aren't empty. We are starting with okay. something. So, but we do need to get more wood so that we can keep the fire going next round. And uh, we need food to activate our familiars. So uh, those are things yeah. that we'll need to do, but it'll make That's it sometimes. All right. So we can go ahead and get started. Uh, whenever we have a token like I, H, and J over here, whenever you move into that area, We'll pause, read a paragraph from the songbook to carry the story. Uh, you see over here, there is an unrevealed uh, saga token, and you'll have to perform a search in there uh, in order to flip that over, and then you read the paragraph for that thing. So it's uh, uh, if it's a revealed token, you don't have to re read the paragraph, but if it is an unrevealed that you have flipped over to reveal, you must. Uh, read the paragraph at that point and carry it out. All right. So uh, Geralt goes first. He can do whatever he would like to do. Um, He's just going to leave and get back on the ship. And, uh, uh, oh, can I Can I go? How many spaces can I move? Your agility score is how far you can move. All right. Hang on. I got an agility of two. Okay. So I'm going to so go right can... to the pier. Pyre. Okay. Sorry. All right. Oh. You're standing on the fire. There you go. I, so, I'm still what, what, learning how this works. So <laughs> do you want to activate this? Uh, oh, yeah, here? dude. You, come on. You know me. If there's an unknown there's thing, I want to know what to it read, is. You want to read it. Okay, so we'll do that. If we look at the bookmark, uh, the I says that we need to read, uh, what is it? Uh, paragraph 25. So if we go over to the songbook and go to paragraph 25. All right. And go ahead and read. It says, apart from the imposing tower that served as your landmark in this partially collapsed longhouse, there is not much left of the camp that your predecessors set up. 
The overriding impression is one of ransacking and hasty desertion. There is not a single living soul left, nor a single dead body that could indicate that your clan had been held at bay by the savages you met. That last thought's re almost reassuring. Perhaps your comrades have moved to a more hospitable place. And in that case, perhaps they left you a message that I couldn't read anyway. You <laughs> search in vain through the scattered debris of the ruined building, but if you rekindle the hearth in, that is in there, it could provide a warm makeshift shelter until further searches can be organized. Put into play special action card 002 bonfire and move the objective marker find your clan forward one space. I know that's good. Yep. So, so uh, all, all right. I got it. I'll do that. Which one did you do? All right. I'll do the clan. Find the clan cube. Okay, and I got the bonfire card that's uh, there, which tells us now that we can spend two wood and flip that token, which I already Woo! told you about. Spoilers. Sorry. But, that, so uh, did he can't, take a? Can't that be he, my action? Did he take then? an action? Did he take an action to read that or? No, because he has the opportunity to automatically do it. Okay. It does not take an action to do it. Um, so it's 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 kind of a, a storytelling aspect of the game, but doesn't okay. take one of your actions. So he can at this point spend two food, uh, two wood, to uh, I, I can't light see the fire. why I would not do that. So I because you're I not did very start smart, the fire. and you're gonna burn yourself. Do I have to roll to start, to start, to start a fire. the fire? Negative. You do not. All right, I'm you doing just spend it. two wood. So I, I went ahead and flipped it. Uh, and so now we just have to need to make sure that we spend the two wood from our, our pile here. Got it. Are we doing it? Actions do I have? Yeah, go ahead. One or two. That was your two. That was your two actions. You moved, and yeah. then you flipped. Lit the there fire. I'm very happy with that. I feel like I've accomplished more in that turn than I will the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a fool, you're doing pretty well. Yes. Yeah. You know yeah. what? Maybe if you guys stop calling me a fool, I would do better. <laughs> it was mostly the cat, and you know it. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Yeah, he's the been cat, riding on that cat. cat the, cat's like this standing by the, the cat's like standing by the campfire, like motioning to it with its head. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Waving its tail to keep the fire moving. Uh, okay, so that's Geralt with his two actions. So now it comes to me. And um, let's see here. Uh, I think I'm going to do, uh, is the witch in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm, going to, witch. I'm going to activate Petronia and, um, let's see. One, two, three. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Petronia. One, two, three. Can't do much there. All right, so turn over the what, other token, man. I want to know what that is. What's that? Let's find out what the other I token was planning, is. I was planning I'll on going that. in there to pray. I'll probably get that H. Um, oh, it's a rune, I guess. No, I guess it's a letter. Um, but are so you going there to pray? Well, what I'm going because to that's do the is um, I'm going to oh. use my. Uh, uh, the queen is going to use her special ability of authority, and I'm going to give Ingvild a nutter action. That she can try to perform. Uh, so, Ingvild, you have you have three actions now, not just two. <laughs> My pretty. And then I, I uh, I'm going to go one and two and move in here, and that will get rid of this H token because I will um, do that. And H has us read uh, 186 in the saga book. So I'll come over here. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so number 186 says you're at the foot of what, from afar, you thought was a dragon. While the entire camp is in ruins, this structure still stands proudly above the debris and seems to have escaped the devastation. Those that came before had worked hard to erect this tower using the wood of their drakkar, proudly crowning it with the prow of their ship. The entire structure is covered in notches or poorly crafted figures carved in the wood. When you slip inside this shelter, you discover a cascade of melted candles, a jumble of bones, and bunches of dried plants piled up in what was once an iron shield. As you wonder about this strange sanctuary, whispers seem to enter your mind. People have prayed here, begged and pleaded. 
An immense force seems to be concentrated in this place. So now we can add prayer cards four, five, and six to our prayer deck, and we can move the objective marker, find your clan, forward one space. I got it. All right, you got that? I got the find the clan. Okay, I will go ahead and flip the prayer cards over, and now they're available to be prayed for uh, later on by other people. We're definitely going to find this clan fast. We are yeah. detectives. Bum, yeah, bum, 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 do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> All right. So that was uh, one action to move in there. Uh, my second action is going to be to uh, release Rolf. And so whenever I release him, he's my familiar, I can send him up to three hexes away. And I'm going to go ahead and send him over here where this unrevealed threat token is. And Why? we're going to try to. Huh? Why? Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, unrevealed threat tokens will ambush heroes whenever they move into the same area that a hero is in. And if a hero moves into its area, it will ambush you. So what happens there is you'll simply flip the uh, token over, and however many dots are on that uh, token is how many wounds you will simply take. You can't defend against them because you're ambushed by a group of, of baddies. So you're um, but sending if you, the dog in to take it for us? Come well, cold. no, that's the thing. No. Hostiles, hostiles don't actually attack familiars, um, ever. So uh, they ignore them by all means. So we can use the familiars that we have to unreveal tokens. It's, it's, it's a way for us to more safely uh, get close to these tokens and, and reveal them without giving them the opportunity to possibly ambush us. Got it. Uh, because if, if if we don't flip them over, they're a little bit more potent uh, when they actually do ambush. So uh, Rolf is going to take his um, his perception of two. And if we look at the uh, area, it doesn't have a perception value on it. So it is just a one. So I'm going to be able to roll two dice. And for every uh, success I get, I'll be able to flip over a token. So we'll go ahead and take these two dice here. And roll them. Do it! And I got Ooh. one success. So we are able to uh, reveal this token right here. And now that means that we have three hostiles that show up there. So Yeeks. if one of our heroes had moved in there and got ambushed by that token, that hero would have taken three runes outright with no possible way to defend against them. Oh, I feel really bad for the fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the... Get in the, there and defend me, you jerk. <laughs> I'm a child. I'm only 32. <laughs> All right, so three hostels are added to that area. Wait, did you have those ready to go? Yes. Somebody knows something we don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so there's that, and... Um, uh, so now, with his with Rolf's special ability, uh, it says that uh, on deployment, Rolf can search its area to reveal threats and attack a hostile in the order of our choice. So we search first, and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to attack. All right, so Rolf has a uh, valiance of three, so he's going to be able to roll three dice uh, against that. But before Should, we uh, get there... Yeah, yeah don't we that, need to reveal this hostile card? You're just one step ahead of me. That's exactly Come on, what I'm talking about. I'm ready. All to right, so it. that top hostile <laughs> card, we go ahead and just take it and flip it, and oh, now no. we can talk about what information is regarded here. All right. So first of all, it says that this is a vermin. These are vermin that are there. They have a valiance of two. They have a defense of one, and oh, then they garbage. also have an agility of one, which means that they can move one. And so whenever we're doing an attack to them, we have to score at least one hit. If we do, we knock that one we, we knock one model out. At the bottom of the card, it shows their priority uh, prey order. So they're going to be attacking the first person, the closest person is closest, or they're going to be attacking the uh, person with the most wounds if there's a type for the closest. And then finally it goes to uh, the Viking uh, society order anyway. So, uh, somebody needs to read paragraph 33 in the saga book, so go ahead and do that. It's Mike, it's your turn. All right. Go for it. 33. 
In the bushes, a constant rustling. So they really are men, or wow. at least living, huh? <laughs> or at least living examples of their most grotesque idol, gesticulating in a pagan dance resembling martial training. They advance, spears and lances in hand, their faces hidden by masks with terrifying expressions. Muffled cackles get louder, and a malevolent glint pierces through the lifeless eyes of the wooden faces they wear. Sounds All good. Right. So there you have it. That's what we're going to be doing now. I want to. Um, I want to invite these guys into my theater <laughs> troupe. Right? Maybe. Sounds maybe like they're the people we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> they right. sound friendly to me. Uh, no, they aren't. But okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so they have one defense. Now, down in the uh, right-hand corner of the hostiles' cards, if there is a number down here, that's how many wounds each model in that hostile group has. But since there isn't a number there, as long as we score one hit uh, or more, uh, one success or more on our Valiant roll for combat, we'll be able to knock out one of those models. All right. Um, so Rolf here is going to, he has a valiance of three and, uh, he's going to roll three dice and he got two successes. So that is more than the one that's necessary. So we'll be able to knock one of those dudes out. Hang, hang on. Where got it. Go? You don't take out, you don't take out two. You can only target one. Uh, no, uh, well, um, that's man. Why you gotta ask me questions like that, bro? Well, I want to make sure if you're gonna kill two guys with two hits. You said one hit kills yeah. a guy. I know. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna double doggy check. to be to be very effective. I mean, uh, I'm good yeah. either way. The next character mm -hmm. that's walking in there is Tom's character anyway. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> why is my character going in? Well, look, the witch is not gonna walk in there. She knows what's up. Okay, mm -hmm. she's not going anywhere near that region. Not because of the dudes with the mask. She's cool with them. The dog. She does not like dogs. Yeah. Why can't and we then, send in that chunky dude that Mike has? Whoa. What? Whoa. <laughs> I, feel wow. I, I feel targeted here. <laughs> Look, Frody is... I'm a madman. I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. I thought chunky was like a, a positive thing. Fr Frody okay. is, is muscular. He's a, he's a behemoth of a man. All right. So... To answer the question, you have to have the frenzy uh, ability, which I believe uh, Drang has, uh, in order to apply success, uh, excessive hits to other nearby hostile models. Uh, yeah, so, I've, I've got um, that, too. I've got go. it, too. So Rolf has uh, attacked one of the guys and taken him out. There are two guys left. Uh, but another thing that Rolf has for him is that if they were to move, um, on their turn, which they would uh, more than likely, um, he actually stops that. So that's another cool thing that Rolf has uh, as an ability. So they're going to stay up. Yeah, they're going to stay there for this round at the end of the at the end of the round. But since that is my second action, the queen is done. I'll take my activation marker and place it on there. And now it's one of Z's turns. Sorry that took so long, but there was a lot of explanation. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, uh, what's her name, Ing Ingwild. Ingvild, yes. Ingild, uh, the witch, who has an extra action, because you gave me an extra action. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take three actions then. Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, all right. She... She looks pure still, evil. She looks... Uh, no, oh. no. She's uh, earthy. We like to call her <laughs> earthy. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's going to go ahead and take three actions herself. Uh, she wants to go do some, uh, let's see. She's got her pet, uh, her familiar owl. Mm -hmm. That lets it search when I deploy it. Um, it also will hold down the hostiles, so I don't really need to do it now. I think I'm just going to march her out across the map a little bit now this letter over here that has the the d or the you know that, that uh, a rune yeah what's that's a, that's that a spawn over point. there that's, that's a spawn, spawn point okay so i'm thinking maybe i should just march her across towards the extreme corner of the board over here where there's another hostile maybe deploy um maybe deploy my uh my familiar owl there there is one point of contention with that idea 
Uh, you can only move once during the course of your turn. You cannot spend multiple actions to move multiple times. Right. So let me see if I make it. I'm here now, and I would move one, two. Yes. And then I could deploy the uh, my familiar three spaces away. One, two, three. Would that work? Yes. Actually, well, this one has um, two movement points. I don't know if that counts against my familiar. Uh, it. Uh, I don't believe it does. The, you got the an out. Lies over the, over yeah, the, it, the it lies forest. over the trees. Actually, For all oh, I know, oh, these oh, trees oh. are possessed and, and grabbing at birds. <laughs> I don't know. All right, um, that is what's, that is what's well, happening then. Well, the yeah, the the familiar is um, all familiars disregard the the movement characteristic, the agility requirement of um, of the different hexes. So it's right. not just the flying ones. So that's what's going on then. I'm gonna go one. May I suggest you 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 possibly yeah. use one of your actions to pray? I can do that <laughs> anywhere though, right? No, you I have don't know to be which is prayer. You have to you have, to, <laughs> you have, have to be, be over there. Yes, sir. Okay, you can that's still fine. you're still within range to send your owl out as well. Exactly. Okay. That's my first action is moving. Uh, mm -hmm. She kind of hobbles. She sort of hobbles over there. Um, Definitely. Well, she then, she's emboldened by Queen Petronia's uh, confidence in her, so she, she it was a brisk walk. Yeah, it's definitely not a curse. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, now I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to lose the game for us. But was she actually technically able to move there? Because yeah, two, that does that take steps. two to get into or no? Oh no, no that's, that's not a, a two. That's prayer. Yeah. Those are prayer symbols. Um, Mike, shut up. All right, so I move hey. in there, and then I deploy my uh, familiar. My familiar yes. is going to. Um, do I need to make a roll to see if I can actually reveal this? What's your owl's perception? My owl's perception, it's got two eyes. Each one can see one and a half things. So it's three. <laughs> okay, there you go. So you take three dice and and roll them, and you're looking for at least two successes. Yeah. All right, here I go. How comes no one told me to send my cat out to do anything? Oh, I got oh, two. Look at that failure. What I a got two. But it is like the two eyes in the owl's face with the nose here. Oh, mm -hmm. it's mysterious. I'm reading the bones, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> and they oh call me goodness. the idiot here <laughs> alright that is a failure so instead oh, it's a she's, failure. she's gonna pray that the owl gets struck by lightning <laughs> oh I've been praying that the whole trip and uh -huh. we're gonna go down here take a look at what's going on so uh, her um, let's see her religion is she's a wildling so yes. uh, we're gonna go back over here and take a look at what's available to me and it would yep. be these got, two. I'm actually going to... Is it okay if I move no, these around here no. to stack? Pen penance will not be available to you because you're not a Christian. Um, I, you've know, got I know. I'm just kind of like organizing them. Got it. Yeah, that's, um, fine. that's fine. Okay, so I can do Call of the Wild uh, or I can do Animal Senses. Sam, yep. are these the only ones available for the whole game? Uh, for this scenario, sir. I mean, yeah, for this scenario. So, that's okay. Correct. That's cool. All right, I'm going to try for... Uh, let me see. Call of the Wild lets me for free... If the hero's in a totem area, spend one will. Is that a that's no, that, like, that's you can spend one uh, um, what's that uh, called? Da, 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 morale. Morale. You can spend one morale uh, to place one quarry token. So if we're running low on food and we don't have any quarry tokens to go out of, uh, we can do the call of the wild to um, kind of use some morale to place another quarry token out on the board. I like it. I'm gonna try for it. Okay. So, so you're gonna, gonna go do ahead. a a willpower check, and you have yeah. to get at least two successes. So my willpower is three. I'm going to go ahead and select these three dice that failed me, and I'm going to re-roll them. Bam! Let's see. Oh, I got it, baby. I got, you got three. It. All right, so you so, go ahead and take that card and take, put it into play right over here. Bam! That's it. That's the stuff. Uh, except for my bird being an absolute failure of a foul. Everything else is pretty good. Yep, yeah, that was a good turn. Or fail. So now you take one of your uh, wood cubes and place it on her, denoting that she has gone. And now, Mike, Done. it's your turn. Do it. All right. So I'd love to be able to um, take out those baddies up there with a with a frenzy, but I don't. I don't think I can get there with the movement that I have, because it takes two to get up here. Maybe if you tried I could do, a bit. <laughs> if, I, there. If, 
if I went with um, <laughs> this, 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 this fat shaming is is unacceptable. Um, uh, if I, I and, if I go with I say if I go with Oslog, whenever Oslog moves, every entry's cost is one, that's um, right. and they. And Oslog does have a ranged attack, but uh, she doesn't have the frenzy. Right. Um, so she could take another one out if if, uh, yeah. poss if possible. Um, another right. thing to, to to keep into. Um, oh, uh, one thing we got to do here. To I'm going to bring here. him. I'm going to drag that guy, Sam. Okay. Here, here we go. First of all, what we need to do, uh, we got to kind of catch up here. Is um, I used two food to activate Rolf, mm -hmm. and then uh, to activate the Owl, uh, Z had to use uh, one food and one morale. Oh, oh, jeez, yes. So I, I forgot I forgot to do that, so I've caught us up on that. So um, the reason I thought about that is because I was going to suggest that Auslog maybe move over here and hit this uh, quarry token up so we can get some more food. Uh, she also has her accuracy ability, which mm -hmm. is really good for performing uh, attacks and for hunting. So, okay. uh, so because of all of this difficult terrain that's at the bottom of the board, uh, mm -hmm. she's the best one to get over to that quarry space. Okay. Um, okay. So that's what I would suggest. I'm not telling you to do that, but no, you can no. do whatever uh, you want. That's, that's good. But she only has two agility, so she'd be able to get down here. That's correct. So and next for, round she'll be able to get over there. Uh, right. For her second turn, you could also you could you could attempt to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. And the reason you can attempt to do that is that you're going to roll a oh, die. Yeah, I keep forgetting we're wounded. Yeah, yeah, you can you can roll a die, and mm -hmm. for each success that you roll, you'll be able to re, uh, remove one wound from yourself. But if you roll a blank die, you'll actually add a wound. So Ooh, it's right. it's a little bit of That's a, a one, risk. One. It's a one in six on the blank, though, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. I think it's worth a shot, because the only other thing I can really do is, is you, can you search if there's no token there? No. So there's no reason to search. So I think just I think trying to heal is my way to go here. Yes, All sir. right, here we go. Oh, you got nice. it. Boom. So you can remove that one wound from Oslog, and All right. she's now fully healed and ready to go. Now, also, yeah. she has that special ability that... that Take some morale so you familiarize yourself with that. It doesn't come into play right now, I don't believe, but uh, just make sure you remember that that's going. So you can take one of your um, your wood your wood tokens here and put uh -huh. it on top yeah. of her. She's done, and now it's back to uh, Tom. So Geralt right, is I already gonna, gone. I think I'm going to drag that that the king around. Someone has to carry him, right? Alvar? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can do that. Yeah. So I actually. I'm just guessing here, but it looks like I have one of the best fighters in the game, this Dreng, right? I mean, this guy is like a beast. He if, if he's wounded, he's harder, and if he kills stuff, he can. He has, like, a overkill and, you know, yes. all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to carry the king for now, but I, I, I do want to get fighting. My problem is I'm too slow. Okay. So uh, I feel well, like I'm just going to run down the path. Which character is talking right now? Uh, <laughs> do, you, do, you hear the <laughs> do you hear the confidence in my voice? Hang on. Uh, uh, one of the I'll things that uh, okay. <laughs> a couple of things just to give them out to you. you um, Dring is also good at um, being alone, uh, and on top of that, he's really good at chopping wood. Um, so, <laughs> chopping wood. Uh, well, he's not wood. good at being humble. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, hey, when you're this good. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, so, so you're saying I should drag the king because that doesn't mean I'm alone then? That's correct. That is correct. Oh, then, so I, I was going to forget the king. I was going to drag. Nope, I, was gonna drag I was going to drag Yar, uh, the Jarl with with Bergen. If you can go ahead and get yourself up to the camp, possibly, maybe think about healing yourself and then head out over in this general direction where there may or may not be the opportunity to uh, um, uh, get some wood later on. Actually, I'm going to move here just so I'm not in anyone else's way, except the okay. witch, and I don't like her. Um, so I moved there. Where's the? Where can I chop down wood? Uh, well, nowhere just just yet because we haven't actually uh, read that paragraph. But it mm. may or may not be in the uh, top corner of the <laughs> board up there. Uh huh. 
But he could try to heal now if you wanted to, right? Can yes, I he pray? could. Uh, no, because you're not you're in, not the, in uh, the pray spot. You're not in the yeah, tower. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll heal then. What do I need to roll? One die. Just one die. Yeah, don't roll people, black. People that have the heal uh, special ability can roll two dice, and they ignore blank results. Yeah, my witch has that. Um, and then I also happen to have, the witch also happens to have uh, uh, support. So the owners of nearby active heroes could re-roll a single die during their activation. Yeah. I got a success anyway. Okay, so you remove uh, your wound there, buddy. Wait, why am I remo- I feel like I shouldn't have been removing wounds. Yeah, that's I want to be wounded, cool. right? Because you get a little bit tougher when you get when you get a couple wounds, but you I don't, don't know, know that it's possible to be tougher than I am right now. <laughs> wow. Woo! Wow. Okay. So I've what? seen things. Your character should have been called hubris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Next person's turn. All right. So uh, Bergen is going to uh, definitely uh, try to drag Alvar here. So if we look at uh, Alvar's thing here, what we have to do is um, we're going to perform a valiance test, and it has to be a difficulty of two. So um, look at uh, Bergen's uh, valiance, and it's five. Um, And so I'm not performing any... uh, combat or anything like that so i don't get any additional dice but i do get to roll five dice and we're trying to get two successes so we'll take these guys right here and roll them and Ooh, look at that successes. so that is good i will be able to take uh Alver's token and move him and bring bergen with him and for my second action I'm going to attempt to heal myself of that one wound. So I'll take this one guy and roll it. And that is not a success, except, um, is that just combat? Yep, moon lay attack, so no no worries. Did not uh, not heal myself, but I also didn't get another wound. So everything is easy peasy. That was my second character. Theoretically, could you have done that? Uh, Alvar action twice because it's not a move action, right? Um, I uh, that's a good question. As we've played it, mm-hmm. you can only move once. As we've played it up to now, I'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, you can only move once on your action. So since you are doing this action to move Alvar with you, um, it, it's considered a move action. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead. It's going to be me next. Are you done, Sam? I am. All right. I'm just going to remind myself of what we've got available over here with the uh, these prayer cards. Uh, so we got that one. We got Call of the Wild there. What's a totem area, by the way? A totem area is, is the spawn points. The spawn areas are what are actually called totems. So that D token that you were talking about, that's a totem. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right. So, um, so I got my bard here coming up next. He is going to let me take a look at what his uh, fighting looks like. His valiance is not very high. He does have courage. He he can definitely find himself some some courage in wine, right? Which would allow that, him to. He can hit that sauce, baby. When he sauces it up, he, he uses his defense <laughs> instead of his valiance. Um, he goes, I've seen him take the, those uh, harp uh, strings and put them to great use in, in battle. Uh, and so, what's he going to want to do here? Uh, I'm open to suggestions, by the way, but I think I'm going to just march him straight up here on the main board. And get closer to the hostiles up there. Uh, so you can move. He's got a, a move value of two here. So you could go one, two in here. That's his first action. Is he singing? Well, no, that's a two there to get into that one above you. Yeah. That takes your whole move just to go to that one. Uh, which one? What are you talking about? This one right here takes ah, two to get ah, in. you're right, you're right. Okay, so he's in there then, that's it. 
There's a big hole in the earth there. Okay, so that's Move, one mm -hmm. action. Yeah, moving into a totem area just uh, by way of explanation is sometimes not a good idea because if something happens to spawn there, uh, then they will automatically ambush you when they spawn there. Ah, so. okay. Well, then I'm just going to move him there, and then I'll try to heal myself. Oh, okay. That's what he's going to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that die and roll it. And he gains a wound like a door. Yeah, Ooh. he does. Definitely... You know, the bard is definitely not the one you uh, want to ask medical. You didn't actually gain from. a wound. One of us stabbed you in the dark, and you didn't see it. Cool. Wow. Yeah, you just, that you, you, you just noticed that you. Yeah. You just noticed that you had another wound there. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, you're walking. You're like, what's all this blood? <laughs> I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna have to deprive okay. you guys of my music. Oh no! Please, that will anything not be a deprivation. That. that will be that will be a source of encouragement. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done. Now, let me just explain one thing. Uh, the reason that you have these wound markers is that if you ever have to flip one of these over, for example, if you flip one over to its two side, uh, which you'll have to do if you take another wound in this current state, uh, yeah. that will actually negate the special ability that it is next to. Um, so if you have, for example, if I do this, oh, not that, sorry. Um, if I do this and you have two wounds, on that uh, dodge ability, you'll no longer be able to use that until you heal this back to at least one wound. Right. Okay. So that that's right. kind of the hit point system of the game that I just wanted to take a moment to explain real quick. Sounds if good. you have if you have two wounds on all of your uh, special abilities, then you are knocked out. Um, not necessarily dead. Just knocked out. All right. All right. So, Mike, right. I think it's Frody's turn. Frody. I think Frody's going to come down here and move uh, Carrie Alvar. He's got four Valiants. He needs two. Um, <laughs> so, that, does that make sense or no? He's he's not in Alvar's spot right now. So Right. But if he took his first. Oh, because he couldn't move again. That would be a move action. So he correct. can't do that. All right. Correct. So then I think um, Sam's crossed the bear. Yeah, yeah, I think what I need, what I'm gonna probably do then is just start heading up in this direction to to see if I can help take those out. The other thing is if I come up here, then I could. Uh, I've got an ability that allows people in my spot to uh, re-roll, and it also gives them protection. I think. Quick question, yep. Sam. Um, yes, sir. So, uh, so um, we we see some some baddie dudes have shown yeah. up, and and the dog is fighting them, and everyone else is like. You know, Mike's talking about running towards them. The the stupid owl that didn't see anything, is it still possible there's bad guys over there? And if so, will they bad possibly guys, burst out and get us later on? Bad, bad guys are over there. That's what the threat token denotes. Right. We just don't know okay. what they are. But are they contained um, there till we trigger them, or will they possibly come out and get us? They are going to move towards the hero that they are uh, prioritized to pray okay. after. Oh, yeah, even if they're not revealed? No, they will not be revealed until somebody does a successful search in their area. No, my, I'm saying... That, my, owl, uh, my owl does have, during the hostiles phase, it, it, the nearby threats of that kind cannot move or perform ranged attacks. There you have it. So they won't move this turn, um, but I your owl is going to come... stupid owl comment. Your, your, uh, your owl is going to come back at the end of the phase, after the hostile phase is over. So they'll, it'll do its job right now in holding them there. But um, it will return to you at the end of the phase. Got it. All right. So I guess my best bet then is to move up here. Um, I don't think there's any point in praying because I only have a one willpower. And I think for the, the Norse card, I need a four success to get that into play, if I, if I understood that correctly. Yes. Um, so I think my best bet is to try to, to heal here. Um, just more than anything else, I'm putting him there as a support character, and then I'm going to try to attack the next round. Because right now, anybody who has to, um, anybody who's uh, near me can re-roll one die during a test. So yes. if someone tries to pray there, I can help them re-roll. Mm -hmm. um, well, if if you match so their might... if you match their religious ability, yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Um, and but but I mean, everybody does that. It it, it adds one success. Well, it says, during, it says during any test, though. So if they're rolling for their, it shouldn't matter if it's my religion or not, right? It just it, says 
Active heroes can reroll once one die during any test. Oh yes, what what the the religious affiliation helps you get an automatic success. I gotcha. Okay. And actually, um, right. because of where we all are, guys, uh, Ingville the Witch is is granting everybody the Wildling uh, religion with the Crown of Thorns. So everybody on my hex has that belief. Really? Yes, that's my special ability because she never stops talking about it. Basically, Beautiful. she's just <laughs> yeah. I mean, she you will well, she I'll... will convert you if near you is what I'm saying. So basically, I, I, let me get you guys as a, your thoughts on this. I could either just try to heal, or I could try to do a little bit of a Hail Mary here and try to, to pray for the animal senses, which is a wildling thing, and it needs two willpower. It needs two successes. I'd be rolling one die. I'd have like a one in six chance, right? You know I always go for the Hail Mary. You think? Well, Should I try to I'm, not a, I'm not a good person to be talking to about it. I'm just saying. We think. I'm happy to try and pray. Try are it. you are you a wildling? I'm not, is, but I am now, now because of witch. I'm in the witches. What, what did she witch convert do? you? Yeah. Yeah. If you're with my with me in my space with the witch, you are that also. Okay. Uh, the only difference uh, the only difference is then that um, uh, let's see. So the so both Petronia and Frodi are considered wildlings right now right because of because of being grilled okay well that's good all uh, right because an another another thing about prayer is that if there's anybody else with a different religious following in that area you can't actually perform prayer action uh everybody well, in might, the area they might still have that i mean they might have multiples i don't think my witch takes theirs away i think i just give them another no it just adds right so yeah if I'm if so I'm reading might not it correctly, no. If I'm reading it correctly, it says that uh, there are no other heroes with a different belief present. Um, mm. yeah, she says Ingvild grants thorn symbol belief to yeah. nearby active heroes, which gives them the ability. Um, let's go ahead and um, I believe this is a correct interpretation. What that what is that what that's for is that you would be able to use uh, wildling prayer cards during your turn. Mm. But I think okay. for prayers, it's going to keep you from doing it because the queen is definitely a Christian and you are definitely a Norse. So you would not be able to pray for Norse because there's a wildling and a Christian in your area. Got it. Um, so you have to be. Uh, I, I would say that you can't do a prayer at this point. Okay. All right. So well, that, hey, that's good. So basically, a wildling, a Christian, and a Norse walk into a totem. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to use that same. Ah. Yep. <laughs> and we're. Are we in a totem spot right now? No. No. Oh, okay. No. No. Not we're, a totem spot. Totem spot is, okay. is uh, adjacent. The the D okay. totem back there. I know you were making a joke, Z, but I was asking because there is a, a, an action I could have done if I was in a totem spot. So instead, I'll just try to heal. Joke. It's just a okay. joke. <laughs> you and your witches always got to be thinking everything is funny. It's not a joke. All right, here we go. Come on now, babe. No! Yes, that's what you call me, a witch? Ah. So I have to, uh, I can either take another wound or I have to flip this wound, or do I have to flip it? No, you can take another wound. You no, don't I'm have just taking another wound. The person who should be flipping them is me. Right. Oh. No, 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 because I get my special ability, Sam, right? Right. Yes, that's I'm, correct. I'm not doing the uh, the the uh, haughty thing. I, that, that, that will come later. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Okay. So uh, that is the end of the hero space because all of the heroes have activated. Um, so now we're going to go over to the hostiles phase. Now, the first thing that happens in the hostiles phase is that, uh, the, uh, threats will move. So those, uh, threats that are out there that have been unrevealed will move at this point. Now, because the owl is over here, that actually stops that from happening. Oh. Uh, so nothing happens during the threats move phase. And then threats with the shoot skill will perform a ranged attack if they're able to. These guys have the ability to perform a, a shooting attack, but because Rolf is there, he stops them from doing that, and he also stops them from moving as well. 
after Good that, dog. yeah, hostels who are not engaged uh, will move, which is where this one actually stops. And then uh, engaged hostiles attack. That is not the case right now. And then after that, new threats appear. So we look over at the fate card on the clan board, and down at the bottom it says that a new threat will spawn in A. Well, there's not an A totem that's on the board yet, so that doesn't actually take place. So we're good to go at this point. So what we'll do here is, uh, first of all, familiars at the end of the f at the end of the round will come back to their uh, characters. So go ahead, and I'll pull Rolf away, and um, the owl can go back to Ingvild. And I believe those are the only two that were used. We don't add a hunt token to to see or anything, right? I'm just trying to figure out what the bottom of that means. Uh, the hostels. Yeah, there is no C. Well, there, there is no C. Uh, if C was uh, out, then yes, we would add a hunt token, but it's not out right now. So uh, that, that uh, goes by the wayside. Uh, so after that, we are done. You can remove all of your uh, activation cubes from your characters. And... Uh, we advance the round marker to round two, and that is that. So the scout token comes back oops, to Queen Petronia, and she needs to choose who's going to get it this oh, round. Oh, so that happens every round she chooses? Yes, it Until does. She's no longer the most important person in the party, yeah. If she gets knocked out, then it goes to the, the second highest in Viking society, the second highest rank. <clears throat> um, I think Sam, I miss where the round token was. Where is that? It's up oh, at it's the up top. There. I see it now. Top, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. I'm going to have... Um, okay. I'm, I'm pretty insistent. I tried to do this, and then Geralt mm -hmm. kind of... Uh, Kind of had his little freak out. So I'm going to have Oslog go first. Mm -hmm. um, she's our scout. So she can hopefully get over there and get us some more food with that, uh, with the second action, hopefully. Uh, we don't know mm -hmm. how many actions we're going to have. But now that we've had that, we'll go ahead and uh, take our next fate card and flip it over. Did we lose uh, what we needed to lose at the end of the round as far as morale? No, we didn't. I forgot to do that. So we lose one morale. Boom. There we go. Why are you guys so now trying we have to make eight. us lose? <laughs> and the fire is going, so that's okay on that end. But we need at, to get wood this turn, right? Yeah. At the beginning, yes. At the beginning of this phase, um, at the beginning of, of round two, that fire goes out. So oh, somebody man. needs to go ahead and flip that. I got it. Somebody needs to flip that because we have Done. to. That's one of the. That's one of the mechanisms of this scenario. We have to keep that fire going. So yes, we do need to get some more wood. All right. All right. So we uh, get, went ahead and uh, flipped over the next event card. And this says a premonition faced with a stranger who is ever more menacing. The most pious among you decides to meditate and to look around for a sign, however small, that would allow you to find the strength to continue. So the player controlling the hero with the highest willpower and the lowest rank applies one of the following effects. So the lowest ranked mm. person with the highest willpower is going to be able to choose this. Who might that be? Uh, let's see. My lowest my rank is a six. Yeah. Which, uh, which, well, my which lowest one willpower first? is willpower. Well, you go with the highest willpower. Right. So who has the highest willpower? It won't be, it won't be me because I've got ones for both. I have three willpower. I have four. And the lowest rank? <laughs> yeah, it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. He's I've been locked one. my whole life. I'm can, so strong. You can look at the next fate card, and you can then put that card at the bottom of the fate deck, or, or, capital O, <laughs> capital R, you can cancel the end effect of this current card. And Three look at the end effect. Woo! So it's a no-brainer. Yeah, look at the possibility that we have of getting, getting wood this round, and the fact that... Um, uh, well, we'll probably be able to get wood this round because we have two actions per hero, so that shouldn't be a problem. But um, you never know. All right, so I'll do the card thing. I'm kidding. I'll cancel the event. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He uh, is the fool. 
collective sigh. Um, all right, so during the heroes phase, we're each going to have uh, two actions. Uh, the hostiles will spawn on on totem B if that shows up, and uh, we'll, we're gonna we're not going to lose three morale at the end right. uh, because he canceled that. So we're good to go with uh, also look. All right, and so now because of my passive ability, I can move through there with just two points. That is correct. And now I'm doing a is this a, a hunt action technically? That is correct. So you're gonna, the right. movement you're of that take, tile? Yeah, I don't need to because my special ability is that I can move into any tile with one as as one. I count okay, it as she, one. She She's nimble. Um, now, hunting takes a survival check, is a survival okay. test. So you're going to take your survival. I think right. you also have uh, the special ability of um, accuracy. Whenever you're performing a ranged attack or hunting, mm -hmm. you have an yep. additional die. Uh, so you're going to take five. a survival of four, and then you're going to roll five. That's correct. And I need two successes, correct? That is correct. One. Well, no, 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 no. You don't. You don't need two successes. Um, you simply every success that you get is going to equal a food that we add to the resource pile. Oh yeah. Now see, I'm, I, I can't get cocky because I, every time I do that, I get messed <laughs> up. Right, here we go. You ready? Bling, 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 bling. Look at that. Three. So that's three, three. food. Good. That's All not right. great. So we go ahead and add these two. Boom. And one more. I'm not thrilled about that. That's not bad. Good. Tom right. canceled losing it, so that's good. No, wait, that was going to be morale, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But that's all right. That's that. That was a that was a good turn. That was a good turn for all. That's yeah. exactly what she, we wanted her to do. Now, did we get um, rid of this now, token? Yes, the token goes away now. And here's the thing about hunting tokens: even if you would have failed, it mm -hmm. still goes away. Oh, okay. you scare off the quarry. You scared so, it away. Yeah. But now it's Tom's turn for one of his two. Before his I two go, here. can someone tell me what my cat does? I don't know. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. Um, we'll explain Everyone it else to is you. familiars were cool. We'll explain it to you, you dummy. Your cat is blank, okay? <laughs> Your cat's name is Arnolf. Okay, so his his nasty habit of hissing at the passage of bigger beasts had cost him an eye. Regardless, it had made Arnolf more snarling than ever. Uh, and so if the white hand would move, Sauron, come on. Uh, Sauron, sorry. Um Thank you. Um, deploy Arnulf may search its area to reveal any uh, threats. Um, hostiles phase, if Arnulf is in an area containing a totem, reduce by one the number of threats that may appear there. What's his movement? His movement is two, and his perception is two. All you right. have to give him food to activate him. Yeah, so one right. you gotta feed him. Look, I'm actually okay with starving the cat. So if you all don't think I should use <laughs> him, gracious. if y'all don't think I should use Four. him, I won't. Um, I actually don't know. I think I'm gonna skip him for now, and I'm gonna do my 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 awesome guy. Hang on. That's right. In uh, fact, be prepared. If be prepared. we are short on food, let us not forget the blank cat. Be prepared to be wowed. All right. Well, here, here's the, you know. That's the cool guy? That's what you're waiting for, like, the strong, beefy guy? All right. Man, that's my avatar. This is very, me. Very that avatar. thematic. You look like a Viking. <laughs> you do. You know what? It's very, you look very, like very a witch. Dope. So anyhow. <laughs> Banda! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> who's who's this person here? That's an old oh, log? Yeah. Why did you go right. there when you knew I was going there? You weren't going there. You couldn't See, have gone there. That would take. That takes four movement for you to get over there. Oh yeah. Well, what's how many how many movement does this take here? Two. Man, I can so hard to move. I don't know what to do, Mr. Samuel Healy. Give me a hint. Well, um, as I said earlier, Drang is good at chopping wood. I I don't know why did you only move him one area. Why did He's you move started. him way over here? He was on the boat. Drink was on the boat? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, if we can try to get Drang up here to get some more wood. Um, otherwise, I got him. Like, I can move him one. It feels like he, a waste. He only has one. He has two, but you can't move in these because they both cost two to go into. Is there no, a way no, no, you should go here. through the camp? You can just move through the camp, dude. Look at all the hands. Look at all the hands. You want to be here? Here. Fine. <laughs> I'll go there. Talk to the hands. I have no action to take. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Um, hmm. He's a great fighter, but he's not near any people to fight. Well, I know. Well, that's the thing. Um, Fight this character right here. <laughs> oh, I slap the cat all the time. Have a cat. I slap him around for breakfast. Well, nor normally what we've done, what, what what has happened in the past is that Drang was put up in, in a forward position, and he was able to get into the camp the first phase. And the second phase, he was able to get over here and, and start mm -hmm. uh, getting Got some it. wood. You told but, me to put uh, one in there, and I didn't know which one to put, so I just put yeah, it right on the boat. That's fine. Right. I, I, just letting you guys make decisions, that's all. But um, That was your first mistake. I agree. <laughs> That was not a good idea. <laughs> All right, well, so I mean, no, what? there's no action I can take, right? I'm just moving and I'm done. Don't, you you know, don't want him to. Could, um, can he pray? Oh, he can't pray now. You could search over here and um, reveal he, that reveal that token. Can he search in an adjacent area? Yeah, you can search in an adjacent area. Oh, okay. Okay. Using in, perception? in the one that you're in or, or outside of. Oh. Is that using perception? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Um, maybe maybe I shouldn't do that. I just got a single die. Well, you only you only need a you only need a sec single die. All right, here I go. I'm looking. I mean, at you that only gold need a thing. single success. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So you got it. I'm so a good seer. That reveals, <laughs> and the sunglasses it, is what did it. It isn't. Is it? It isn't red yet. You have to still move in there to actually read it. But um, uh, it'll tell us what it tells us what paragraph on the bookmark card to go in there. So now what will happen here is that um, when you move in there, it'll automatically fire off. I can go in there next turn, next round. No worries. Either way, that's good. I cleared it up. I'm done. Next. Okay. So that's to me. I'm going to uh frody it might be good for you to get over here to get some wood possibly i don't know what jay says but oh to get over here oh i was gonna i was gonna attack these guys but i'm happy to get wood okay we're gonna go ahead and uh do uh bergen's uh roll uh her to move what in the world what did i just see so what are you rolling for i'm moving Ber mm -hmm. i'm moving alvar And so I got two successes, so that's good. So we'll move him up, her up here, and him right there. And uh, I'm going to try to heal myself because I failed last time. And that's good. So I am ready for action. Now, I could. One, two, three. I could send. Oh wait, no. I think I have a two for my for my bear. Yeah, he only has a two, so that's not doing any good as far as that's concerned. So I won't I won't use the thing for that. Um, but I couldn't have it anyway. So that's it. I'm done. Z. All right. I'm thinking uh, that I want to use my bard. Have him walk. <laughs> into where the uh, baddies are there and uh, take a swing at one of them with, with his harp. His, uh, his, Do it. Uh, his evil harp. His battle harp. Come on, bring out that battle, battle harp. Battle harp. Uh, Song of right. Courage. Let me see. So his agility He's like those is guys in Kung Fu two. Hustle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Don't go through D, though. He's a drunken uh, master, man. Can't I go through it without stopping? Oh, yes, you, you can, yes. This way, can. too. Yeah. It will not spontaneously eat. Oh, you're yeah. there. Okay. Here I go. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to show up in here. Bam. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, let me take a look here what's going on. So, I could use 
the uh, the courage in wine. I could do that in order to roll four dice instead of one when I attack. That's correct. All right. I got also my defense is going to be a little better and uh, support. I also, that by the way, anybody who wants to come in here this turn and fight as well, I will grant combat <laughs> to them. I'm not sure what combat is, but they get combat. combat. Combat gives them an extra die when they're performing a melee attack. Because I'm playing them mad beats. <laughs> you can kill anything you want. Oh, yeah. Nice. He's dropping the heavy, the heavy stringed metal. Here we go. Uh, all right. I'm going to be rolling four on. dice for these guys. Let me pick four dice up. And Let's nuke them. Do it. Here it is. Here it is. Here's my roll. Musical dice. <laughs> Boom. That is three that. hits. That, and that definitely gets above their one. So one is gone. Right. Are we going to use them again? Because I would like to throw them on the floor. If not. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <clears throat> no, I'm not going to throw it's them on the floor. It's not a real game. We can just chuck them. No, you do that with real games, Tom. Okay? No. <laughs> This is, just feeding, this is just feeding your Once. need to destroy. Okay. I should yes. play some mellow tunes for you. All right. All right so that was it for I my think, bard. I think Come Frodo is up and and Tom I mean uh Sam is definitely pointing me in this direction. So boom. Yeah, we, we need we boom. need fire. Yeah, so and he's got a four valiant. So uh, we have to look over at the card here, right? Jay. Yeah, so, so Jay comes off the board. 114. Yep. Let's hop over here. Woo, bingo, story time. Bingo. Oh, 114. A few dozen trees have been felled at the edge of the forest. Oh, wow, there's wood here. Who'd have thunk it? There is no doubt that this is the work of your clan. A rusty saw partially embedded in a trunk is further evidence of the hasty abandonment of the site. With a little determination, you can tackle these mighty fir trees that promise to burn rapidly and fiercely to keep you warm. Stepping back to assess the magnitude of the task ahead of you, you notice that you are walking on a bed of still fresh wood shavings. Someone has worked here recently. As you look for other clues, an intermittent whistling sound attracts your attention. A bottle attached to a... Man, I gotta get my glasses. A, a bottle branch. attached. Ah, yes. Uh, attached to a branch sways gently in the wind. When you take it down, you notice a small roll rolled up inside, requiring you to break the bottle to examine it. On it, a few lines in Latin traced in charcoal. So we get what the special say? action card wood cutting. Um, and we gain the item card artifact number two. So we get action card three wood cutting and item card artifact number two. Okay, so the uh, woodcutting card says that um, an active hero in this area can perform the following action with a valiance test, and you mm -hmm. gain as many wood than as uh, successes that you attained, and then you yes. would also flip that token. So what that means is that you can only do that once per round okay. uh, because you will flip the token once you do it, but it. you can now use your second action to, to cut some wood. Uh, yeah, to do some woodcutting. Do it. All right. Let's do it. So once so, it gets flipped, it'll come back next round? Yes. Got it. This is Ooh, really right. good timing, so need... Mike. All right. Because my guy's just going to light the fire next turn. All right, here we go. I'm, I didn't roll well, that. I'm just trying to... Beacons are it. lit. Gondor comes right, for go. aid. you got to be kidding me. You are so good at some things. Wow. <laughs> But not wow. gathering wood. It's Holy. already chopped down for you even. Do right? I have any abilities or anything? Do I have anything that can help me here? Uh, no. Let's see. No. Uh, your armor bearer, Frody attacks nearby hostiles. No. Um, he grants yeah. protection, frenzy protection, dice. Maybe you should have no. got out of my way and let me come. Um, yes. So we still so, need another one. We still need one wood, yeah. So doesn't I don't know if that's maybe the queen will go over there and show you how it's done. I don't know. We'll see. 
I guess. So we got one wood. Did you put one in the in the supply? Uh, I, I didn't. Okay, but... I will take. Okay. Wow. I'm so. I feel. I feel like I let let us all down. Well, here yeah. here here's here's the problem. Just be though. clear, you did. Here, here, <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, though. Here's here's what happens. Yeah, event phases will flip back over. So this yeah. isn't going to be. We can't. I, I can't even have the queen show you how to no. do it. No, we're, we're, we're stuck. So we're not going to be able to light the fire this round. So we are going to lose to to uh, morale because of that, which is good be, that you that Tom negated that other one. Right. So, right. Exactly. Otherwise, Number we would have been losing five morale this turn. Woo! <clears throat> All right. Um, so your turn, Tom. All righty. Well, I was going to light the fire. Nope. But I got no wood. Can I go get wood with him? No, because we that wood cutting the tile has been flipped. Oh, and... Mike, you're an idiot. Well, I, I... <laughs> oh. 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 HR! Man! HR! Woo. All right. That, that's rough. <laughs> uh, and people what call is, me the is, idiot. What is Geralt's uh, agility? It's two. Oh, no. Is it two? I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. Okay. I was thinking about moving with Mike and then sending my cat in there to look at that token. Okay. Can I do that? Uh, I believe so. I don't think. I don't think it says that only heroes can flip those over. But let me double check. Well, you let his dog do it, or your dog do it. Huh? Yeah, but it's a you dog. <laughs> you have a one-eyed cat. No, I, I was talking about. Uh, Oh, you're talking about that one over there. Yes, 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 yes. He can right. definitely do Wait, that. What did you think he was going to do? Let the cat chop down wood? Good no, chop no, down wood. The, the <laughs> K. Than I K. <laughs> Get in oh, there the and read what that no, K No, 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 I'm not doing the K thing. Token. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I'm doing good. this. So what All happens? Right. All right, so you got to roll your perception. I don't actually you know what it is. Then it'll be, it'll be one less than what comes up, right? Uh, No. Because of his uh, Are you talking about missing an eye? Arnold of Mason, its area to reveal any. Blah, blah. So it's two. You got to roll two dice, and uh, you have to get uh, two six. Oh, thank you, Roy. Two. Oh wow, you've got to get three uh, successes on this one on I'll all do it. two dice. So I, I I can't roll worse than Mike. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm ready. Be careful. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, bacon, shake it, bacon, shake it. Where'd you roll? Hey, swing over here. You got wine. It almost nice three. job. It was almost three. You yeah, got, it still was mine. Wine. All right. I'm done then. Okay. Uh, Man. Well, yeah, that, that's a lie, but okay. Um, all right. Queen. The clean, the clean, the clean. Um, okay, you're still with me. If you do something where you are there, the witch gave you uh, a re-roll because of support. So if you do something, you can re-roll a single die. Yeah. Good pray. All right. We're going to... Um, yeah... Yeah, do it. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to have... Uh, hey, how much food do we have? Um, We've got... It depends if you count or do not count the cat. <laughs> we have three food. <laughs> the cat counts. So it used one. And so Rolf is going to move. And he's going to use the other two. So get rid of all three of them. Dogs oh, roll and cats... Catch all tool. Free food so, is gone. Uh, we're going to do what we can here. Uh, Rolf has a perception of two as well. So we're going to try to roll two dice to uh, reveal that threat over there. Uh, it has to be a three, though. Good night in the morning. Don't forget it. you got to pay for the dog to deploy, right? I, I yeah, got rid of I, all food. Yeah, there was three. There's one, one, for, one for the cat and two for me. So yeah. we got rid of all three. And that's Oof. a failure as well. 
They, but I, I they're think they're not. They're not going to move because Rolf's there. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, they would have come in here and ambushed Geralt and Frodi. I would have been okay with that. We'd take them down. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> All right, that was, face that, was, uh, that was one action for Queen Petronia. Um, you still have Ingvil to go, so I'll go ahead and use my leadership ability to give Ingvil the extra action. And, All right. Um, can you put some hex on that tree so we can chop it again? <laughs> I'll see what and I can do. We can't get any good witchery. Right. I'm going to use Petronia to. I'm just going to move her to the campsite to give her a, um, you know, kind of a central ability for uh, using Rolf in the in, in the future. Where are we trying to uh, get the Jarl? We're right trying here. to get him to the camp. Trying Let's to get him to the camp. camp. Okay. As, as, uh, you know, as, as soon as we get him to the camp and there's a bonfire going, we'll, we're going to be able to gain two morale and move the uh, the Heal Alvar um, track one. Right, so. we can start healing him, right. Um, <clears throat> right. All right, well, my witch, the very first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to heal her. Uh, there's no good reason not to do it. She's very good at it. Yeah, and cannot possibly get wounded Correct. in the process of doing it. So Correct. that's going to be my first thing. When she's she's a healer, so she's going to go ahead and do that. I roll an additional die, and she ignores the blanks. Now to heal, it's just a single die normally. So she's going to roll mm -hmm. two, right? That's all. Yep. Uh, yes. All right. So here we go. I'm going to grab these two dice here and roll them. Bam. Drain. Okay. That's close. Drain. There is a card that is yours. You got it when you. Uh, um. Oh no, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't Drain. It was um, Brody. Sorry. What I do? You got this card. It's, it's you right didn't roll well your, earlier. <laughs> wow. I got a card though, Tom. How about that? Uh, are you a Christian? Oh. Um, no, Frody. No, he's a uh, Norse. Okay, so this, this card, if uh, yeah. you want to show it off a little bit, there is a paragraph that we can read, but you can't read it because only a Christian can read it. That's what this, uh, um, mm -hmm. that's what that symbol up in the upper right hand corner means. So, okay. uh, but can he give it's, that to someone it's basically else? a, it's a, yes, he can give it to, that's a free action, by the way. If he's in a spot that is, uh, that, uh, um, where another Christian is, uh, he can either give or that person can take uh, this thing from him and read it. Well, well McDonald, uh, I'm in the same yeah. spot as you, and I'm all religions. Oh, okay. So, so Gareth the Fool will be able to read Father, Bert, uh, Father Berto's parchment. All it's right, here's awesome. what I'm going to do. Do guys, I did one action to heal, which I already did. I'm thinking I'm going to pray because of where I am right now. Try to get yeah. that other wildling card into play. Okay. And then I'm going to move, even though it puts me in a dangerous spot, I'm going to move into this totem because then I can use Call of the Wild to possibly put some more food out. Yep. That's um, true. So that's what's happening there. Let me go ahead and take a look over here at the... Uh, the um, what are these? The prayer cards. Uh, yes. So I need four successes, unfortunately. No, I'm looking at the wrong one. Two successes. Animal senses. So I'm going to try for that. Two successes, and I'm rolling uh, for prayer. What am I checking? Willpower. Willpower. Right? So three dice, two successes on that. Here we go. Roll that. That is no bueno. Man. I got, I got no uh, successes there. I'm just saying all this stuff started when Mike rolled poorly. That, that, Look, I, this I feel is, like there's a central point here. Th this is, do you, have the, do you have the slander ability or something? This is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, I'm moving in here. And then, even though I am out of actions, I'm going to use uh, the Call of the Wild over here because it's for zero actions. Yeah, and I, I can spend one willpower, one uh, well, I don't know what that is, morale, right? Yes. I can spend one of these. 
Yeah, I got it. Oh, I okay. It. And, it's, it's, it's uh, back. All right. Oops. <laughs> Uh, and then I can put out one uh, the the food. I'm assuming it goes right there in that same spot, right? It does. I got it. Good. That's oh, yeah. it. Now next turn, she's gonna bite it. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna jump on that deer. And yeah, be bite careful it. when you say something that you own is gonna bite it. <laughs> no, no. That's I true. only have to be careful around Mike if I'm gonna say that because his. Look, no, because I'm so saying if, if 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 we said the king is gonna bite it. That's a very different meaning. No, it's advanced literature. The Vikings mm-hmm. don't understand. <laughs> You're not up with my lingo. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the uh, end of the hero's phase. So now we go to the uh, beginning of the hostile's phase. So um, threats will move. Um, we don't have any threats that are going to move right now. This one would, but because Rolf is there, he will not. Um, so that's a cool thing. Um, because it's it's basically keeping Geralt and Frodi safe. Uh, now these Thanks, guys man. over here are going to attack, and oh. they use their priority. So they go for the the uh, the nearest person first, which is only Jaime, um, which right. is possibly a bad thing because uh, Jaime right now only has a a defense of one. Ooh. So what's going to happen here? Because why, he why? wait hooch. wait wait what defense of one? You, you drank your hooch, bro. So your valiance yeah. has become your defense. No, your but defense. I, 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 it wore out. It wore off. I, I had some coffee. No, <laughs> it did not. <laughs> this is garbage. No, I'm good. <laughs> so um, Hyming is being hit with a strength two attack. So you need to take your defense of one and roll one die, and and uh, you're going to block a hit for every success that you get, basically. All right, fine. Here I go. Oh, boy. Roll. That's not good. That's, that is absolutely not good. So what how, that how means... How can no one roll well? Well, I'm one hoping. of the things one of the things that I do, I don't know that it helps at all because I, I had a bad roll as well, but if you just highlight the dice, like, for example, if in Tabletop Simulator, I'm going to highlight these two dice right here, and I'm just going to hit R a, f- a few times, and it puts a little bit of a better spin on him oh but, well, well hold oh. on knowing that <laughs> mm-hmm. and, just uh, saying I'm so you wrote poorly again. it was a skill problem z is That's what i'm what hearing is, no 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 no. it's an interface problem it's not a skill problem you got to be so more skillful with the interface two wounds. is that right i'm taking You're two flipping yes. both of those You're bad boys over yep. so yeah. basically what that'll do is that will uh flip timing and uh he's down you got no powers. Oh no no no! He, he's, he's knocked out. out. He's KO'd. Okay. Yes, he's KO'd. So is he out of the game? Uh, well, until we can get over there and heal some of his things, yes. Oh, drop um, the Yarl and come get me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd love to help you, Z, but timing is a diva. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, all right. Well, he tried. <laughs> yes. What else? All we right. Got? So, um, unengaged. Uh, I believe unengaged hostiles will move next. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, let's see. Engaged hostiles attack. Hostiles who are not engaged move. Uh, but that's separate. So new threats appear. So we come over here to the. Uh, the board and B totem is not out yet. Right. So we're good. That doesn't happen. And we, we not don't... want it out. Huh? Do we not want it out? Uh, it it will it will appear. It just hasn't appeared yet. Um, okay. So now uh, we would be losing three morale, mm-hmm. but Tom negated that. But we still need to lose two morale from the campfire not being lit. So we'll go one and two. And now we are down to five. We are down to five morale. So this is, uh, we're getting close to uh, that survival threshold. Yeah. And I want to be careful with that. Um, all of your familiars come back. We, we flipped the uh, the wood over too, right? Oh, the, and the, the, it flips over, correct, yes. So now somebody can uh, try to uh, gather wood again. 
Nobody who knows how an axe works this time. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't know about the keep tapping R trick. If I'd have known that, this would all be different. <laughs> I don't know. I just think uh, uh, it's I my think, fault. I apologize. No, no, no. It's definitely Mike's <laughs> fault. I want to be clear. This is ridiculous. Right. Worst. So right. now, what happens right. here? Uh, the round marker is going to go to the third space, but on the third space is the L marker. Uh. So we actually need to read a paragraph as denoted by the bookmark. L is two hundred and ten. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Let me find my my proper camera. Two ten. All right, the pests that were amassing at the edge of the forest suddenly cease their maneuvers. One of them barks, brandishing his fists in the direction of the camp, which caused the disorderly <laughs> flight of his fellow creatures, who disappear into the woods from whence they came. Astounded, you realize that it is fear that is causing them to run away. That's from us. Mm. But a shiver runs down your spine when you realize, oh, that you are not the reason for their fear. <laughs> oh. Uh, an agonizing death rattle rises into the air. Alvar, on the point of death, is convulsed with violent spasms and begins to scream, They are here! The spirits that haunt me! They're coming to take me his way! Slap him. His staring why is, eyes why roll he, back. Why is he using my voice? <laughs> and then disappear beneath his lids. You stand alert, scanning the mist that appears on the edge of the camp as a flock of crows settles on the idols. That top the wooden tower. They're now watching the camp, clacking their beaks in unison. That's weird. Like a morbid <laughs> serenade. Remove all the threat A tokens and vermin hostiles and throw them upon the floor. No, it doesn't say that. We're remove move threat card zero two. Put into play threat card zero three. Place totems A and B in the location shown on the plan. I don't know what that means. All right, so now we're beginning... Uh, round three, um, and so first thing that has to happen is the queen needs to give the scout token to someone. And oh, wait, we, we haven't revealed that new hostile yet. Oh, that's because we don't know what it is yet. This is the new uh, card that's out here that tells us how they're going to act, but we don't know what it is yet, so we have to go uh, use our perception skills to reveal it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I'll let someone to, else do uh, that because that seems really scary. We're supposed to reveal <laughs> a new. Uh, we're supposed to reveal a new camp fate card here, or give the token yeah. first. Yeah. Uh, no, we have to give the token first. The, the, okay. That's the first thing that always happens within the fate card. Um, so I think with um, with Ingvild over there, uh, I think I'm going to give since she has the she has a pretty good perception, right? Uh, her perception is, let me take a quick look here, it's four, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's good. We're going to go ahead and have her be the scout, because she can uh, search and try to reveal that token over there, um, uh, that threat token, so that we can see what it is, um, right off the top of the bat. So right, right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let her go first. <clears throat> so she's All the right. scout, and now we go ahead and reveal the next fate card. So there we go. Uh, so whoever wants to uh, read that, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, I got it. This is okay. Go ahead. Uh, the event is called Scapegoat. So I guess it's, it's about it's me. Talk, it's talking about uh, yeah. It's talking about <laughs> my goat mm -hmm. parts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Faced with the magnitude of the disaster, your le leader loses his temper. I guess it's her temper in this case. Mm. and uh, takes it out on one of you, much to that person's astonishment. Mm. But admonitions are sometimes a good thing. The poor devil is now much more energetic. <laughs> so the uh, the token that is the highest rank token is what that is, right? Designates yeah, the, leader. the leader, okay? The leader designates another active hero. That This hero suffers one wound and gains the following bonus token, which is an extra action. Yes. Ooh, can I have it? Yeah, I'm yes, gonna slap you drink. the animal. Uh, the 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 queen slaps Drang for some unknown reason, and oh, uh, Drang takes a wound token. <laughs> so Drang, you have an extra action that you can do um, this turn. Um, we, um. So once that's done, we are all only going to get one action this round. We may eat and take one extra at most. Yes. Right, so we could have max each two actions. All right. 
Uh, Good thing right. is, well, no, is that no, we could have a max. Like, we, well, well, Tom could have a max of three for that one character. Three, right? Yes. But we have no food right now. Right. Right. Uh, and then which, uh, during the hostile, which is another reason, which is another reason why I picked uh, uh, Ingvild. Uh, she has a survival of three, and there is a uh, hunt, hunt token in her area. There's a, a big big mag right in there. All right. Um, <laughs> and so she's gonna go ahead and. Uh, Try to grill that Big Mac. She's rolling three dice, I guess, because of her survival. Yes. All right. So I'm rolling three dice. I'm going to grab these three, and I'm going to roll them. I got two successes on that. Two food. That, Mike, are you watching? I'm yeah. watching. You got to keep hitting <laughs> the R. That's what it is. <laughs> would appear now watch what happens right. when i try to do all right so this token is now gone that is correct out of here somewhere uh guess it goes out here all right and now that was my first action well my only action actually i could though right. if i wanted to eat food and then take a perception check yes you need to do that uh she refuses She's going to go take a nap. <laughs> All right. No, that's fine. She'll go ahead and eat some of that delicious venison. Am I, right. am I moving? What's going on there? No, you don't You don't need to move. You just need to... No, no, I'm, I'm getting rid of the food. I'm moving the food. That's what I meant. Oh, right. yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then she'll do her deal there. So her perception, she is rolling her four dice for that. Correct. All right. Here you, you go. Just need, you just need at least one success. Got Boom! It. Look at that roll. It. I am so perceptive. Okay, so what <laughs> happens here is this token is, is revealed, so we go ahead and flip it, and that adds one thing to it, and then if you see, if there had been anybody in here, like if, if uh, Hyming had been not knocked down, that person would have taken three wounds ooh, um, ooh. when that was revealed. So um, you, it's it's why you, you want to try to make sure that the you, you try to find out what those tokens are before you actually move into them. And so, but that adds a shadow. Ooh. And the shadow. so we go ahead, we go ahead and take one and flip it. Where's the card for this dude? Oh, you flipped it. There it is. Yeah, right, it's right here. So we need to go ahead and read uh, paragraph 191. Oh, okay, I got it. I want to read about the shadow. 191? Yes, sir. All right. Ooh, he Shadow goes after Alvar. Ghostly apparition stands before you. Its gigantic misty form can only be a divine manifestation or an evil one. Noiselessly, it begins to lumber, if it's noiseless, anyway, forward before uttering <laughs> these simple words, which seem to sound only in the deepest depths of your skull. Move aside. The one you have poisoned is due to us. His journey will continue at our side. Nothing seems to stop this aberration from another world. You all tremble and prepare for the worst. So, quick heads up. Is, that, is he saying he wants the king? Because if so, it feels like a fair trade. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, yes. Uh, they are after Alvar. If you look at their hostile card the, mm -hmm. in their prey priority, they're going to come after Alvar first. If Alvar is not um, in the scenario for some reason they go after the person that has the uh lowest willpower i think or the highest willpower lowest, yeah, lowest willpower yeah. and oh, well, then we should kill these guys right now uh we do need to kill them as quickly as possible yes that is correct because and then we, if we, we cannot we cannot lose albert and then if we kill one of them we need to make sure that we read this other number as well that is correct yes sir right all right all right so that is the shadow uh, I am done, so it's the next player's go. All right, it's me. Now, look, I'm afraid to ask this question. <laughs> Should I try to chop wood? <laughs> no. Um, I was I was thinking you probably shouldn't. Um, okay. Because uh, I think that um, uh, it um, Drang is is going to be able to roll. I think it's if if Geralt and uh, Frody, move out of there. 
And uh-huh. Drang is alone. He'll be able to roll seven dice for for food. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's do sure, that. Are you sure, Sam? I can do that. Where where are we getting that anyway? That's what? that's only if I'm. Oh, I'm a loner. Never mind. You're yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So maybe then instead, what I'll do is instead of activating uh, Frody, uh, although do I want to move him out now so that that if if you want to activate Drang first, because I was also thinking I could try to do a perception to figure out what that is. Right. Well, uh, if you look at if you look at the priority order mm-hmm. of of that threat token, they're also mm-hmm. going to be heading towards where where Albert is. That's their first thing. So okay. Um, there you don't have uh, this threat token is not going to come your way. Let's put it okay. that way. It's going to be All moving right. towards. So you don't need to worry about Oslog right now. You're mm-hmm. going to be able to move her anyway. Um, so there you go. Okay. Um, so I suppose I'll just move Frody out. Can you come help I wish he... me? Or, or well, I mean, like I mean, the bard, is he just down? Or? He is down. I, yeah, and I can't get over there. I only have a two uh, movement. I only have a two agility. I mean, I can get here. There's also the shadows. Let's not forget about right, that. Right, right. Um, wait, do I have... I don't think he's got range, does he? No. Unfortunately, Frody doesn't have range. So at this point, really, I think all I can do is is try to heal. Is there anything I can do prey wise? No. no, you're not in the right area. All right. all right, so I get no. I meant as far as like one of the cards. Um, okay. Um, yeah, no, that's good for a melee attack, and that's it. So I think I just I got got to try to heal. There's not else really anything else I can do, right? Uh, you could. <laughs> Um, you, you can go over there and, and get ready to fight. Uh, you, there, we also have the, the K Saga token that we haven't revealed yet. So that's another possibility. You could go over there and do that. Um, right. as soon as you move into that area, it'll, it'll reveal it doesn't cost you an action. No, wait, before I move, could I give my card here to, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I want to do that first before I do anything. Okay. And who am I giving this to? Geralt. Tom. Geralt. Okay. Tom, there you go. Have a card. All right. Uh, I can uh, read then, this, guys. You said I couldn't read. I also took my gonna, cat now. Are it's you a mirror get off my, my back now? All right, so I'll move Frody <laughs> over here. Is that what you, you're saying to do that, right, Tom? Or uh, Sam? Sure, you can do that. Um, uh, because what, what Tom will I probably move. want to do on his turn is he'll probably want to move Geralt over, over to Kay. And read the parchment, and Kay is going to be doing some reading as well, so that's what Tom likes to do. So I'll just heal then, so we can move on to people who I do are... like to read. But 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 I don't know who I should move first. But I'm waiting for Mike to finish his eternal. Well, the in order to get full usage of Drang's loner ability, you should probably use Carol first. But it's up to you. Hey, Mike, you did two actions. You don't normally get two actions this uh, round unless you eat. I don't, you're right. I don't get a heal. I just okay. moved. Sorry. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's cool to, I mean, now you know how to roll, but you don't know how to read. So. <laughs> uh, All right, I'm chopping wood. Being abused. Uh, again, don't forget, you got to eat if you want to take more than one action. I got it, but I still can chop wood, right? You can try. Tell you something. If you don't get fifteen successes on this, how many? All right. So I could roll. I'm rolling my valor check, right? No. Who's the one that got the extra? My what? The one that got the extra action? Uh, No, I'm sorry. It is valor for wood. Sorry. Yeah. I got the extra action. All right. So I'm gonna roll my seven dice here. Mm Mm-hmm. Disgusting. Wait. 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 How do you do it? No. Why? No. 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 Not that's Drang, not Drang oh, would be rolling kid. seven. Not Geralt. Never mind. I forgot that he wasn't there. Terrible Why is Geralt not there? Geralt is there. You need to move Geralt so that Drang, when he moves in there, he'll be able to use the food he'll be and chop wood. Got it. Can I I can't do anything, man. Yeah, you can. You like can what? first of all you can first of all uh, read that parchment that was given to you. Paragraph 138. Do it. Sure, but hang on a second. Why don't I just move... Why don't I do him second? And the reason I can do him second is he can go light the fire or something then. He can, he can do something. 
The queen can light the fire as soon as wood, okay. is, wood, wood has showed up. You don't need right. to do that. You I'll have that case. You have the K Saga token that's that's within your thing. I'm gonna run over here too. All right, so 158. Why are you? Um, Why? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm hurting cats. Um, <laughs> we have the no, K no, no, no. Saga the reason... token. Huh? We have the K Saga token that that could or could not be something that we want to go look at. We want to go look over here. Do it. Oh, okay. And it's that's within fine. two away. Well, I'm just trying to go to where I'm used. I mean, he, he, even though he has low everything else, he's a really good support character. That's why I moved him to the other Over spot. here. <laughs> I can't get there. I only have two movement. I know you were here. One. You started here. Friend? One, two. I thought that oh, spot was two to move into. Two. Oh, uh, never mind. Maybe I should not be criticized for following the rules. All right. No, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> to criticize me. <laughs> Putting you back on the ship. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll throw you back up here. There you go. Do all right, look, I want. I'll I would gladly go over there, but all right, 138. I'm gonna read this book Mike gave me. So where mm -hmm. am I putting you? Eh? You are actually moving over here. Yeah, I'll move towards. I mean, I'll move towards it if if someone if no one else can get to it. Fine, you're doing that. There you are. Go ahead and read, read. I want to hear it. All right, the only Christian uh, accompany the first expedition was Father Berto. Captured at a very young age in the western coast, he has become the old scholar whom everyone consulted for his knowledge of legends and distant worlds. King Hakon could no longer do without him, much to the displeasure of the elders of the clan. It was he who had written these few lines on what looks like a page torn out of a manuscript. The Lord seems to have turned his eyes away from this world. Here reigns the beast. I hate this guy. He contemplates <laughs> us before feeding on our souls. The eyes oh. of his lackeys Man. watch us from the sky. They harass us relentlessly so that we abandon all hope. The, thanks, Mike. This is a cheerful thing you gave me. <laughs> the Nort Manny have plunged into the Valley of Shadows. I fled to find and bring the light and draw the attention of the Almighty. Perhaps you can glean more pages that will shed light on what may have. On the page? I don't know about action. shedding light. More like shedding glue. Oh, traumatize the old man. Hey, move forward. Find your clan objective. Marker. That's right. Move Woo! forward. Got it. I got it. And it says archive this artifact on your clan dashboard, which I mean, That's I right. guess we lose it, right? Uh, well, we 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 don't we we don't yes we lose it, but we still have it. The clan still has it, but it's it just put it over here by the uh, the clan board, and we'll 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 keep it for later. All right. Good job. <laughs> I can read. Everyone thought I couldn't. I don't know where I'm putting it, but I'll stick it here. All right. And then we've moved you one closer to the saga token over here. Yep. So that, I'm done. Nice. Good. Okay. Now, so if, now, I, if I were to move, like, on my next turn, could I move through this, or will I get ambushed? No, you will get ambushed. If you move into there, your, your, your movement will stop, and uh, you, you will get ambushed. That's not good. Okay. Um, let's see here. Don't have food. How many food do we only have? One food. Mm. Yeah, I just I gathered two and then I spent one. I think we only have the one food. Yeah. That's yeah. that's yeah. that's yeah. selfish of you to have used that one. And and one wood. I'm also mm. the only one gathering food. Y'all got to get <laughs> on that. Okay. What did well, you do? You were like, I'm going here. I'm going there. I'm going here. I'm going there. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna read. Get with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Bergen is going to uh, Bergen is going to go ahead and go then, and she's going to move Alvar. So uh, we got the uh, five. Get uh, five dice here. So we got these guys going, and we just need two successes. Yeah, yes. we got it. So now we move Albert in here. Now along with Bergen. We do this. <clears throat> and now that uh, we he is at the bonfire thing, we get two morale and we advance Alvar's uh, heal Alvar one space. Right. I got this. Okay. I'll do the cube. And then you get one. 
to Morale. There we go. Oh. So now we're back up to seven. So we're feeling a little bit better there. Um, and that's my only action. Because I'm not going to spend the food. Um, because I can't get Olaf over there to attack the shadow. But we do need to attack, attack the shadow here pretty soon. Because um, this one is actually a little bit more dangerous. Because it's going to be going for Alva as well. And it only, it's only two spots away. This one is three spots away. So right now this is our... This is our uh, danger spot over by uh, Totem A. Uh, all right. Well, uh, um, my bard is still drunk, so he's going to skip his turn. Yes, he does. So it's back up to... Uh... Oof. Oh, so should I... Mike's turn. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you what, man. Wow. This is... This is getting this is getting real personal. Um, should I try to should I try a perception check? I don't even know to, if you started me down this route. <laughs> would it yeah, would that help? Back in. <laughs> it, it it will definitely. Okay, well, right now what's going to happen is is that um, just to kind of explain the mechanism of the game a little bit, mm -hmm. this threat token is definitely going to move into this area towards Alvar. That's right. definitely what it's going to do. Um, now it's right. going to be. Um, it's it, it's uh, uh, what you could what you could possibly do um, is no you wouldn't be able to do that either. I, I can't I was, attack before it's revealed, right? Yeah, you you cannot attack it until it's revealed. That's correct. Yeah. But what I was thinking is is that you could um, you could do a perception check because mm -hmm. you have. You have a you you have a ranged attack, don't you? Yes, yeah, I you've do. got shoot one, right. um, and your valiance isn't that great, but um, you could possibly do a perception and then use the food to do another action. But well, the perception we, check is going to require at least two successes because of where that tile is. Correct. So Ooh, what I would do is what I would do is is um. Uh, I would say go ahead and do the perception check. All right. Because I think, but but that's that's it because yeah. um the I think the extra food needs to be drained. Drain. We need to get yeah. we need to get wood to get we the need fire. Wood. All right. Well, I'm. Hey, look. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm rolling two dice. I need two successes. I think we all know how this is going to turn out, but <laughs> yeah, we do. Boom! Look at there. I take back everything bad I ever said about Mike. All right. All right. So um, now the uh, this one is flipped, and so another shadow gets put <coughs> here, and that goes away. I I I I'm not sure, but I think the shadows may be the bad guys. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting a feeling that they're yes the antagonists of the story. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready to chuck some dice here, guys. Go Let's yep. chop down all of the wood in the forest. You have to move there first and then eat a food. Yes. Do it. I'll, I'll go ahead and get rid of the food. So just uh, go ahead and uh, move in there and and do your uh, be be a lumberjack and be okay. That's Ooh. right. I'm a lumber. All right, here we go. Oops, I accidentally picked up the cat. I don't care. That's okay. <laughs> Roll a two. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, don't oh you. no! You overdid it. He, too much he did, R. He did get two. So. Wow. But Could I have oh gotten better God. than two? I mean, I mean, what I mean is, Why? Yes. is, you is two have all I needed? Much. Yes, two no. is all you needed, but oh my goodness. I have rolled two successes on two? seven dice. What in the world? No, what I mean is, was there a better result I could have gotten? Yes, 14. <laughs> Those would have carried. No, 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 no. They no. I mean, was there a better reward I could have gotten? Yeah, you, as many as you got would have been that many wood as that would have carried hits, over. Through the game. As many hits would have meant, meant, like, if you would have had four, five, seven successes, you would have added seven wood to, the, to our resource pile. But you only rolled two, so only two are added. 
I'm going to put this hat and sunglasses away because that, that, <laughs> that was a Delicio roll. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you're back under the bus. That's right. Even I just perceived that shadow, and I'm still a he nothing. Just throws you right back under the Drakkar. <laughs> All right. So that is that. Um, uh, I'm going to use, Petronia is going to use her one action to use the two wood and flip over. Um, That's a roll. <laughs> and flip over the fire time. token. So um, we're good on that respect. And I think I think that's all, right? So this should get flipped. No. Yeah, I know. I already, already flipped I already it. already did. Okay. All right. So um, what happens now is the... The uh, hostile space. And so threats will move, uh, first off. Um, so uh, there are no threats because there's no tokens out there, but there yeah. are two hostiles. So oh. hostiles who are not engaged move, and neither of them are. So they're, also, they're both going to move toward Alvar, uh, which means that this one comes over here as well. And then engaged hostiles attack. Now, since Ingvild is... Um, well, actually, that's equidistant, isn't it? And I believe yeah, since it's equidistant, same. we can choose. Uh, we should probably have him go over here with uh, yep. Cody. Yeah, he has a he has a better <laughs> defense value, I think. Right? <laughs> sure. Uh, yep. Z is really just <laughs> man. Uh, Frody has got uh, yeah, he's got three defense, and yeah, and um, has two, I think. And when I perform a defense roll, I roll an additional die, so I'm actually rolling four. So we'll go ahead and do that, and now engage hostiles attack. So the uh, if we look over at the hostile card. Mm -hmm. Um, it says that they have a two valiance, so uh, he's going to you're going to use your defense value mm -hmm. uh, it, along with your uh protection, right? So I'm so rolling I'm four, to give you four dice, and you need to two. score, you need to have at least two successes, correct? Come on, right. Ooh. four, so All you right. defend it against the attack. Good job, Mike. I've always All had right. to <laughs> thanks trying to. Trying to make up for lost time. You got a long way to go. All right, oh. and then uh, new <laughs> threats appear. So we look here, and A will get another uh, token. Uh, so another sh another hostile uh, threat token comes here to A, <clears throat> and uh, we're not looking very good. But hey, we're we're moving along. <laughs> well, that's par for the course for our for our group. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what, what, are we around four now? We yes, yeah, we are. We're about. Does to the go game automatically end at a certain round? Seven. Round seven, it will automatically end whether we've won or not. Got it. So this, we're about halfway through. This specific scenario, no, it'll probably go a lot quicker from now on. Okay. So, round four begins. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. We can all remove our our uh, tokens. Activation tokens, that is. Uh, let's see here. Golly. Um, I sure hope we get better actions this turn. Um, all right. Are I'm going to give. Fighting? I'm going to give the mm -hmm. scout token to. I'm going to give the scout token to uh, Ingvald because I think uh, she needs to uh, try to hunt up there in uh, Totem B. Okay. I can do that. Um, so we flip the we flip the fire the the wood cutting. Do we flip the fire too? Yes. Like does it go out again? It does. So if we have enough wood, the fire won't go out. No, you have to use two wood every round to keep it going. No, I'm saying if we have enough wood, does it automatically stay uh, stay on fire? Yes. Okay. No. Or you spend an action. A hero has to spend an action to keep it going. Oh. Got it. Okay. It goes out every time. It does. 
So somebody's just got to hang out at the fire and keep it going? That's why the queen's there. But she hasn't had any food, uh, any, a whole lot of wood to work with. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, she she hasn't had any wood to use Rolf, and, and wood's been scarce. So the queen has been a little bit less than useful this turn, uh, this round. But um, that could be my fault. I, I didn't... Um, Maybe she's not the best person to keep the fire going, but we'll see. Um, all right, so I've chosen Ingvild to go first, and then I will uh, sign to flip the fate card for this coming round. And whoever wants to read that can go ahead and do that. All right, somebody go for it. What are the orders? All your companions look haggard. No one seems to realize the gravity of the situation. And all eyes now turn to the leader. His decision will bring you out of the strange torpor. Will he bark orders to urge you to hurry, or will he reassure you? The leader applies one of the following effects. Move as many nearby or adjacent active heroes of your choice one area. Lose a morale per move, or gain two morale. We each, it's another one action plus, or spend a food for a second. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Um, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to move some people around here so that we have a little bit of a better... Isn't that a lot of morale loss, though? I mean, can we afford that? Um, we have seven, and the threshold is three. So right, never mind then. I'm, um, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I think what I'm going to do here is... You cannot move I do a have... lot of people, though. It's the queen, right? Yes, the only I person can. you can move is the other one here. And that's yes. it. There's nobody else who's adjacent. Right. You're correct. Oh, it has to be adjacent? Yeah, it has to be people that are adjacent to me or in nearby. So You that's... could move the Yarrow. Just start pushing him back down the hill. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to spend one and uh, tell Bergen to uh, come over here and meet this shadow face on. Somebody's got to heal this uh, this bar is all I'm saying. I don't know what you guys are doing. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, I mean, uh, Ingvild is a healer, so that could be a couple of different things. Frody can come over here and hunt, and Ingvild can come over here and, and do all of that. So um, getting extra actions is spending food, So, and we don't have any of that, do we? No, but I'm first, and she is going to hunt. So, right... Well, she, have, she can hunt from an adjacent tile or from a hex, cool. or does she have to be nearby? She has to be a nearby. So oh, she can't do it then. Dang, this sucks. All so right, she's going to pass. <laughs> no. Uh, what else can she possibly do? She can't heal. Get set, get set up for next turn. All right, well, hang on, hang on. Since this is a co-op game. Yes. If what? he's figured out that he can't do any of this stuff, why would Sam give him the thing to go first? He hadn't seen that's the card true. yet. That's true. That's why. Yeah. No, that's why. Yeah, that's why that has to go first. Is because Got I was it. hoping that there would be more actions on this card mm. than just. Got one. it. Okay. Um. I, I yeah, would. You can move up there for next turn. Okay. So my. And, yeah. can just move. Yeah. In here. Done. Yep. And if you get two actions next turn, you can heal and hunt. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, Frody or, or Frody or Ozlog, whichever one. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, Frody. I could, I, you, should I attack probably here? Uh, yes. Okay, let's do that. So Frody. Oh, I'm attacking. Okay. So Frody uh, is rolling a four. And I think that's it, because the Frenzy's not going to apply, since there's only one hostile. Correct. All right, so I'm rolling four here. And how many uh, defense does does the Shadow have? I believe it's two. All right. All right, come on, Mike, let's do something good. Uh, come on, I believe no, in you. No, it's, it's three. Sorry. Yeah, you I got, got three. It. All right, I All got right, it. Good. All right, so that, that gets rid of this one Shadow token. Yeah. So All now right. we're going to read... Paragraph 202. That's all you, Mike. You killed it. Do it. All right, 202. Let's get over there and make this happen. Boom. Oh, I went too far. Okay, oh, this is a two-pager. All right, let's get these glasses on. Let me get serious now. (laughs) (laughs) 
I mean, the you know shadow. You can, you can zoom in. Dude. Oh. Uh, you know I am zooming in, and I still need the old man glasses. What is wrong? As the, sh- as the shadow vanishes, you struggle to understand how your blades could have had any effect on such an entity. Then, with a flash of understanding, you realize that you have displayed courage, enough to dispel this creature who was supposed to inspire great fear. The loud clacking of crow's beaks can be heard, while a voice made of tangles of screams and groans grows louder. A hundred intonations are united in a single voice. I strike like lightning. Your muscles stiffen and your throat tightens. Brace closes around you. There is no more beautiful release than a sudden death when you wear my mask. A bloated face twisted into a scream that echoes and lasts forever. You feel the fatigue of the previous fight weighing down on you. Your legs are numb. Your fingers tense and painful. Blood from your lungs, battered by effort, rises in your throat. Despite the pain, you are still ready to fight. Discard this hostile card and play the next hostile card. Move the heel Alvar objective marker one step forward and gain one morale. Okay, All so right. you get how we're supposed to heal Alvar now? I got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. All right, good. I'm moving so the we Alvar. Flip, uh, we flip the, uh, the... So we have a new shadow hostile card now. So they are still 3-3. Three, three. But if you look in the bottom left hand, uh, right hand side of the card, you'll see that they have two wounds now. So the way that works is that you're going to roll a number of dice equal to your valiance. And if you score uh, basically six hits in one throw of the dice, you'll be Mm -hmm. able to take one of these guys out at the same time because you'll be able to score one wound for each time that you can go up to their defense value. So it'll take three hits to knock out the first one and three hits to knock out the second one. You can do it individually, though, right? The wound will stick around? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. But in order to knock it out uh, in one fell swoop, you have to do six hits. Got it. All right, so they're a little bit stronger. um, And instead of losing just one morale per shadow in in Alvar's area, we're going to be losing two. Uh, during the end phase. That hasn't happened yet because they haven't been in Albert's area, but um, yeah. All right. All right. So uh, that was uh, Frody. Uh, good job. You're the Thank man. Thank you. So now, Tom, either Dring or Geralt. Where's that shadow? Shadow is right, right here. Down here. It's about to get smacked in the face by Bergen. So you, you, know, you just want me to do what again? <laughs> um... Probably so, yes. All I right. Try. Try, try. try to do a better roll this time, though, okay? There we roll, go. Roll, 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 for wood. There oh, that's there a good go. Go. Oh, that's In the whole forest. Bingo. <laughs> all right, so that's seven wood. All right, okay. We're good with wood now. I think uh, that was that was well done. Well done, well done. All right, all right. All right. All right. I, I was right. learning the first time. That's it. He was just, yeah, he was figuring out the saw blade. That's what he needed was. to needed to sharpen up the saw. He, he he was figuring out how he's going to chop wood with only one hand. So that's good. <laughs> All right, so Bergen is going to go now, and uh, Bergen has uh, combat ability, which means she gets an additional uh, attack and melee. Uh, and on top of that, she also counts the uh, serpent side of the dice as a hit as well. So um, she's going to be rolling six dice. And we'll be counting serpent sides as uh, also as a as a hit. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and move this wood. Nobody seems to be doing that. I got it. Oh, that's a horrible roll for her. And oh um, yeah, sorry about the wood. Uh, so that but that is that is one hit on the shadow over here. Boom. But um, no food for another action. That was a horrible roll. My bad. Mm. It right, happens. Actually, I'm done. Z, save us all. Wait, my bar is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're done. I'm yeah. done.
All right, I've so been over here uh, moving tokens. One of two things: either try to do a perception check for that, or I was thinking I can move here so that in the next round I can attack with a ranged into the camp. Yeah, that would. Uh, um, yeah, that's that's about the that's about the size of it. All right, so I'll move if, here. If we can like make the king feel better. Will that right. automatically kill all the shadows? Mm. Um, well, you you noticed how we moved the heal Alvar thing one step when we killed one of the shadows, right? So that that's how we can heal Alvar is we have to get mm -hmm. rid of these shadows. They're well, playing right this now. K thing in a moment. Right. Well, I'm right. done. So I just I had my one movement. All right. I'm in the K. What happened? All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the K, and we read... 272. 272. All right, hang on. Moving over. 272. We're moving on over. <laughs> a crumbling wooden shack forms a mound of debris and tangled assorted objects. Some are broken. Others have simply disintegrated under the onslaught of cold and the passage of time. Carefully, you clear away this tottering heap to gather up anything useful... I got a perception test two. All right. Uh, for life, man, I don't remember what my perception is, but I will look. I have a perception of three, so I need uh, two successes on three dice. Yes. That doesn't feel very easy. <laughs> you no! can do it. You yeah! got it. Yeah. All right. All right. So that gives so, me an item remains card. Yeah. Whatever that means. That is uh, this thing right here. You can take one of them. And there you go. So Where is it? The card, it's right above your, uh, right above Geralt's thing. It says uh, it's a shield. It's a broken shield. And uh, basically, it'll give you the dodge ability for one attack, which means dodge gives you, I believe, it's uh, an additional die in defense. Um, so it can help you defend against an attack, but then it's going to go oh, away. Oh, so it's like a one-time, it crumbles under the hit. Yes, that is correct. Also, we have a Search to Runes special action card number four. Yes, and that's right here. And so now we can search the runes. An active hero uh, can perform a perception test two and draw one of those uh, artifact remain cards. But there's also a token over here that denotes that. Got it. Eh, that's not as important, I don't <laughs> think, for what we're doing right now. No, no. it isn't. Um, but we do need to light that light that fire. Yes, we do, and that's my turn. Uh, so still only with one ability. Oh, dang it! I'm a doo doo head. Well, I'm, it depends. I'm so far, I'm, I'm on board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I sh aren't you just before, flipping that fire? That's all you're doing, right? Yeah, but before I moved Bergen, I should have given... No, I couldn't have, because I would have had to have had my... Um, I was thinking I should have given Bergen another uh, uh, another action, uh, using mm. my authority. So you would have been able to hit him twice. But I don't know how that goes, because I had to move her as a result of the event card before... Her before Petronia's action uh, turn. Did you so, give that? Did you give that second action to anyone already? Or no, I didn't because it has to be somebody in, in my area. So ah, uh, and you can't give it to yourself, right? Nope. Uh, uh, let me read it. Yeah, it says another available hero nearby. Got it. So um, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, well, I'm just going to flip the the fire uh, using two wood, and um, that's all I can do on my turn, and I yep. believe that's, no, that's not it. Um, well, I'm done. All. I don't have a second action. Yeah, no, so I, think, I think it is it, yeah. That's everybody, yeah. Uh, Okay, so um, what's going to happen here is that um, we go to our next hostile phase. And so threats move. Um, we have one threat that's here. 
Oh, this is bad. Um, because this threat is going to move here and reveal because it ambushes Bergen. And Bergen has to take, what is that? Three, it looks three like. wounds. All right, so Bergen is going to take three wounds. That's not bad because she has three spots available. She'll just fill each spot with those. So we'll do that in just a second. Um, but then that does turn into... Is that a shadow? Another shadow? Yeah. Another okay, shadow, that's correct. All right, so, <clears throat> so the shadow moves in and ambushes Bergen. This shadow that was already here will move in using its priority order uh, to come in and attack... Uh, or to be in the same place as Alvard. Um, and uh, that is that. But now... Uh, engaged hostiles will attack. Um, so now uh, Bergen is going to receive an attack from this one. And that's going to mean that it does a... A three attack. Uh, Bergen needs to take her defense of four and roll defense. She needs to get at least three successes. She also has protection. She also has protection. She has, should have had an additional die, which I don't know that's going to matter much, but no. So she takes two wounds and she already had three from the ambush, so oh, that's not good. She dead? No, not No, quite. she's not dead. She's not dead. Well, you're not going to need three things, Sam. You've got the one. Right. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Go ahead. But uh, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do one, two, and then three, four. So there and here. Right. And you just have to decide which ability you keep open because you right. know, you're you're you know canceling two of them, whichever yep. two you you prefer. That is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel shoot one in protection, so that I keep my combat going. All right. And now that other one is going to be attacking Queen Petronia. So Petronia will be rolling three defense. Take these three here, and... So even though that shadow is messing with our uh, Jarl, it, it will still attack anybody in there then, huh? I'm pretty sure, yes. Because right. um, he's not a viable target right now. He's still unconscious. Uh, but right. she is. She, she. So that shadow is going to be engaged with Queen, Queen Petronia. So she's going to roll her yeah. three defense... And she blocks two, so she takes one wound. Woo, these shadows are nasty. Yes, they, they are. are. I was fighting a shadow the other night. It wasn't this bad. Just <laughs> flick on the light. That's it. It was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Unless you're doing it with a flashlight, then it is scary, because every time you kill one, you're creating another one. It's oh, crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, um, so that is the end of the phase. So now we lose, we, we get rid of all of our activation tokens. And uh, I need to figure out who's going to have the, I think we will have Ingvild go first again next turn, so we'll keep that there. All right, so Bergen. That, so, that, so that she can, uh, huh? Why not the guy in the, with the shadow? Um. <laughs> We could do that. How much food do we have? None. That's None. the problem. Food? That's why I was yeah. going to have her go first, so that she could get some more food Oh, never mind. Yeah, do the food thing, because that way... How many actions? Do yeah. we have to pay for an extra action again? We don't know one, yet. We don't know. One, well, it's it's usually it's one food or one morale for extra actions. We need to finish, by the way. We need to put a thread right. in A, so... Yes. So that'll come here. I, I agree. Give it to her. Okay. All right, so Suckers. she's got that. <laughs> Zeke just turns around and starts running away. I'll see y'all. All right, All right, so it's going to be... Come on now. Come on now. Um, 
Let's take a look at what our uh, all right. Our this is good. Is. This is good because we've got we've got some uh, we've got morale. That's good. Well, did we? Well, hold on. Did we lose morale? Uh, hold on. Let me see what this says. I don't think okay, we, we did. Yeah, we lose two. No, we we, we didn't lose the shadow. Oh, but yeah, because of the shadow, we do lose two. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So um, we've got, got five got left. It. Then yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll get it. So we've got five left. Oh man, our shoot skill range is limited. Oh, it's limited to one. Okay, I can still shoot with my guy. Yes. All right. All right. So uh, pervasive mist, a thick fog seems to rise from the ground and envelops the surrounding area. Caution is needed when moving uh, toward uh, forward through the mist, which your eyes struggle to penetrate. Until the end of this turn, all active heroes um, uh, are going to have a minus one to movement. Ooh. And shoot skill range uh, is limited to one. Minus one? Ah, are you kidding me? Yeah, because I was going to be able to... Minus one movement and uh, minus minus one to a minimum of one. Yeah, because I was gonna get, I was gonna try to take, uh, ah, I was gonna try to take him in and fight, but I can't. Not much we can do. Stupid missed. All right. Well, guys, well, the let's food go ahead is and, uh, food's not gonna give us extra actions. No, um, that's morale. It's I could morale. Still, so. I could still hunt, or I could try to heal the guy who's down for some reason, but. I don't think we need to worry about that. He's not going to help. He's I have one word. Bar. Murder. Yeah. MDK. <laughs> MDK. I could try it. I could do true. True. Uh, if we spend a morale, I'll have two ranged attacks I can do. If I didn't have that. Oh, we that, can do the same uh, limiting, action once? I, yeah, I think all, can, other than, other you than can a move. You can only move yeah. once. You can oh, only move I can once. shoot once too then. But I mean, my yeah. shots aren't very good, but I can still shoot. My biggest yeah, problem I mean, is this beast army. guy here can't get there because of the stupid limited movement. Yep, that's true. But I think yeah. we've got enough. I think we've got enough to take care of these people. Let's All right, do so it. I should, I should gain that food then, right? I mean, just it in wouldn't, case. It wouldn't hurt just in case we need to use our familiars. All right, so my survival is three. I'm going to go ahead and roll three dice and see how much food I get, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here I go. Come back over here, die. There you go. Okay, I got my three dice. And... Oof. Great. <laughs> you guys I get are, one food. You guys are amazing. Let me tell you. Wow. Hey, man. We, we uh, I'm just eaten. saying. I'm just saying. Jerry and I beat. Uh, from from uh, Beast of War, we beat it. So I'm just saying. Mm. It, it's possible. All right. I'm going to take two ranged attacks. All right, Mike. You've rolled poorly the whole game almost. I have. This is your chance of redemption. Okay. All right. So my, so my <laughs> I'll buy you one. a key lime pie if you succeed. Hey, All right. Hey, here we hey. go. Things just got real. Things key just lime got is on real. the line, baby. Two, I have a two valiance, but I've also got accuracy, which means that uh, I roll an additional. So I'm rolling three dice. Yes. All right, so we need three dice, and we need this is the first action. Come on, come on, come on! Oh wait, I was only it's two. Only two dice. Do not roll two dice, you cheater. I'm gonna roll this one now. Oh, oh come on! Okay. All right. Well, well Mike, that was one attack. Mike, no, you're very honest. You. For for the life of me, I, when you, you put those first two dice down, I was like, that didn't count. So that's good. Oh, okay. Uh, so I only got one. But I've got one more attack. All right, let's see. If, if, so, how many more do I need? Five? No, no. You you need to you need to score uh, a number of three hits on this. Are you talking to the guy that's in camp? Yeah. Yeah. You need to score three hits in one attack to kill him. To kill him. That first one was a whip. Right. Oh come on! All right, here we go. God, I'm like kidding how the me. Die, the die was tilting there. Like, there's no there's no tension there when the other <laughs> dice have already failed. Awful. Well, guess what you're missing out on. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, Drang or uh, uh, Geralt? I'm going to roll two dice and try to... I mean, Geralt's just sitting there doing nothing. So here we go. I'm going to do two shots of two dice each. Okay. I mean... 
Oh, wait, I gotta do the R, right? R, R. Oh, no, wait, hang on, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't well, count. Wait a minute. How, how, are, how are you guys getting two attacks? Because you only have one action. You have to spend oh. the morale to get a second Shall action. We? Well, sure, but I'm spending the morale because we might as well. All right, so yeah, gonna, Mike, Mike take, spent one. Got it. Got it. Let me okay, let me do I my first it. one first, and then we'll see. All right. So let me like ah, oh, why can't I do two dice here? There we go. Here we go. All right. Come All on. Right. Enough. Uh, That's yeah. two. Well, Should I spend look, them around? guys, from from my point of view, looking at this table, I see three sides that show uh, hits. <laughs> so does that count? Okay. What so count? can anyone are you, wait? wait. Can, can um, are you else? you're not in a not sharing a spot with me, are you? Oh, what? wait a minute. Hey, don't... Hey, Sam, this token, yeah. does this give me an extra die? What token? Um, this yes. token here. Oh, I should have yes. used that. Okay, I'm well, using it for my second one. Okay. Cheating so much. Cheat... Oh! Oh! No, don't even that's, touch him! <laughs> no, that would be cheating. <laughs> I just moved the dice. All right, hang on. Let me see what else I got. I can do that. Um... I have all the prayers. Is there any prayer things that give me bonuses? Yeah, there's one for uh, attacking as a uh, Christian, right? Norse. Oh, Norse. Okay, right. Never mind. Those don't help me. All right. They well, don't help you. You just said you had everything. I do, but they don't help for what I'm doing. I'm doing a ranged yeah. attack. Oh, never mind. Shoot. I, had, I also had a thing where I could have spent a morale to do another ranged attack. I didn't even realize that card was there. All right, here we go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. You all, all caught right. me. I'm mad. So that's man. this one right here, right? I, whichever one that is better yeah. for the team. It was well. I mean, that that's the one that you were you would have been able to shoot. Yeah, you're right. I can only Carol. hit one away. All right. So um. So that means that we read the second one has has been killed. So now we read uh, two thirty four. I'm on it. So did that kill it, or did that wound it for one? No. Uh, oh, that is true. Hold on. Z Garcia! I don't want you guys to be happy. I'm sorry. Uh, look, you're letting my bard suffer. <laughs> Just face down in a pile of mead. <laughs> kind of. Like, if you had hit that thing, we would have killed it. Well, not only that, but I, if I had realized I could have spent another morale to, to do another attack. Yeah. Well, no, you did, you did two attacks, right? I did, but I also have a, a card that for one morale oh, with get you zero cost zero actually gives me another a move and range. Yeah. Well, then just do that. Yeah, go ahead and do it. It's a right. cooperative game. It's fine. All right. So, All right, we're, so we'll so spend. We're okay with cheating now? Oh, yeah. No, 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 that's boring. Let me it's help you cheating. out. If we're okay with cheating, I'm just going to grab all these baddies and move them off the board. I mean, hold on, fellas. <laughs> right. Whatever. Whatever. Look, Whatever. Look at all this food I gathered when I hunted. It's well food. It's, it's not going to matter anyway because I'm not going to get three hits. But here we go. That's true. One <laughs> hit. Get three blanks. That's Mike, good. worst this is here ever. This is remarkable. Oh, my goodness. Did you spend that uh, wasted uh, morale? Uh, no, I didn't. Go ahead and do it. Oh, man. There should be, I think there should not be the four whole left. Stack. No, the whole not the stack. whole stack. Oh, I didn't do the whole stack. There's Sam, how much left? Sam, it's your turn. Um, there, there should have been. Uh, oh, there, should, there should be four left. So okay. one, two, three, and four. Right. There we go. There's four morale. All right, so uh, Bergen is demoralized because of all of the whiffing that's going around. Uh, I mean, there's a child who apparently can't shoot a bow to save her life, and then there's a, a fool that uh -huh. is uh, just uh, not doing well at all. She's realizing, Bergen is realizing, the shield maiden is realizing that she should have trained these idiots before we left. Mm -hmm. um, so... Let's see. Okay. Well, we've we've got one attack, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take uh, my attack of of five plus one six. So we'll do this. Don't you need to light the fire at some point, also? 
Yeah, but that's later. Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I would just like to point out that that would be enough to kill it outright. Um, <laughs> at the very. <laughs> yeah, but you're rolling seven dice. Uh, yeah, because I'm a shield fiend, so it's oh, cool. So now we enough. can roll. Uh, now we can read page two thirty four, uh, paragraph two thirty four. I'm, 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 I'm. You do it, Tom. Uh, Tom Sam has to read it because it was him. Oh, it's true. All right, so. You delivered a significant blow to the ghost, but you feel that atmosphere is still is still thick. This walking curse is still around somewhere. The crows are flapping their wings to confirm it. Continue the effort. Move. Heal. heal. <coughs> Alvar, objective one uh, marker, step forward, and then draw one morale. Uh, gain one morale, and then discard this house guard. Put the next one into play. Um, All right, so now we move the king. Don't we read another thing now? Yes. Under the, uh, was it say one, one twenty three, one twenty three. I'm there. All right. You cast suspicious glances at your own brothers in arms. The ghosts have been dispelled, but some of their words still disturb you. The one you poisoned, Alvar was poisoned. Who poisoned him? I already said it was the queen, guys. When was he poisoned? <laughs> How was he poisoned? The snap of their beaks, louder than ever. The ebony silhouettes of the birds sway with the branches on which they're resting, swayed by a strong north wind. When an empire is to fall, the attacker is careful not to attack its walls, but destroys it from the inside, Abar says as he painfully gets up. Your leader is up again. He is looking at each of you with a clear and deep gaze. But let's not let the venom of suspicion threaten our clan. Those creatures could have said anything to make us bend. What have you learned, brothers, he finally says. Uh, Nothing. Did our, did our find your clan objective get to a dark square? No, it did not. Okay. So read 121. Avar is not impressed with your clumsy story. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 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 we just saved your uh, uh. life, dude. <laughs> Odin's black cloud of crows, loud croaks that resonate like the sneers of a vile old man. They attend the scene as the most attentive audience. Infamous felons, Avar perched on a stone, scrutinizes the whole group standing in front of him. The black hand of his contempt points at the congregation facing him, and his murderous verb, verbs reigns sarcasm and sermons. Whom have I the honor if any remain? My brothers, my companions, my grave diggers? On this day, the dozen survivors that we are is a corrupt dozen. A thousand plagues upon the altar of this treachery. If I did my Buck out his eyes and feed them to the crows and crows, wolves and crows. As long as the culprit is lurking in his shadows, I have no choice but to trade all the respect I have for you and ever miss present mistrust. I could see from the bottom of the well of the afterlife that mutual aid and brotherhood were not among your priorities. I deplore it, but let only one dare to stand before me again, and the edge of my axe will offer him a death far quicker than one, the one I came close to on that cursed ship. You are now warned, and you will understand why the village elders have given me the war name of Alvar, tough as iron. Uh, so we get Alvar, hero card, the suspicious, and I will read 230. And also, Alvar needs to be punched in the face, because we just saved his life, and that was pretty rude. <laughs> right? All right, so real, true, quick, real quick, what happens here is that Alvar, as he is going to be used later on, in the uh, scenarios and campaigns and so forth, will have this experience card with him. So now this is adding to his character a little bit. So the bitter taste of betrayal, betrayal sees an Alvar completely out of control, full of anger and hatred. In his dreams, Alvar finds the traitor and executes him. When he's awake, he can't do anything but think of who nailed him onto Hela's bed. He has to be patient. The traitor will make a mistake eventually. And when this happens, the acts of vengeance will instantly hit the back of the felon's neck. So for a free action in the future, Alvar will be able to, um, if there are at least two active heroes in his area, gain one morale. Got it. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so that's, there are two possibles. There's another Alvar card over here that's an experience card that if we would have done a little bit better in finding the clan, we would have gotten that one called Alvar the Conqueror. I won't show you what that is because I don't want to spoil anything, but um, we're stuck with Alvar the uh, Suspicious. And now read the final 
Conclusion. After enduring these violent skirmishes against the living and what seemed to be the spirits of the dead themselves, silence fell again on this devastated camp. Fatigue wearies your aching muscles, but there's no question of giving in to despair and idleness. They are but the vile scouts of certain death. The scattered beams and planks planted in the clay soil depict the real carnage. Some of them, however, are still in good condition and lead you to believe that it would be possible to rebuild the camp. As you slowly begin the necessary preparations for this initiative, you take a worried look at the edge of the dark forest that borders the area. Is this the realm of these messengers of chaos who are hiding deep in these woods at the end of the worlds? Your predecessors must have fled in that direction. Or have they all perished? Did those filthy natives capture them to satisfy some need for blasphemous sacrifices? If the questions seem unanswered, one thing is certain. When the wind whistles between the trees, one could swear to hear, in the hollow of its whistles, cries of distress coming straight from the forest. To be continued in Hell, the Last Saga. Saga. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So, what you're telling me is, after all these shadows, all this crazy stuff we've seen, <laughs> we're actually going to make camp here? No, no, no. <laughs> wow. wow. we are Viking. While my one character was wow. reading this, the other character got in a boat and left. Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, the witch is out. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, folks, so that, so Sam, you was saying this is an introductory scenario, so yes, it didn't it really spoil anything from the campaign itself. Um, so um, that's that's how it plays. Um, and obviously, other things could have happened and different things could have occurred based on how we played and went through. Yep. Uh, any last things to say, Sam, before we sign off? No, uh, just remember that our Kickstarter is starting on May 12th. Uh, well, I guess it, at this point it's, it will have started on May 12th, so it is uh, live and well uh, ready to go. Uh, you can come check us out on the Kickstarter page and uh, hopefully back us. Um, it's uh, going to have 80 hours of playtime um, at least, so you're going to have more than that possibility. And um, I think it's it's great. So come check us out and uh, hopefully give us a give us some help. All righty, folks. Well, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks, everybody. I'm uh, Mike Delisio. Take care. And I'm Sam Healy. We'll see you on the flip side.